Smith, the veteran, 2-1 and one in the young season, an average very high as well, uncharacteristically high, 5.20. Billy Smith, who was picked up in the expansion draft back in 1972 from the Los Angeles Kings. The referee for tonight's game is Dennis Morrell. And the linesman, Kevin Collins, Dan McCord was to be the second linesman, but he uh, is a scratch and will fill you in on the backup a little bit later on. Here with the first period, Bob Miller. All right, Nick, thank you very much. Gary Galley drives it in. Mark Perry is the other uh, linesman tonight, held in by Jay Wells on the left side. Islander zone now taken away. Islanders start back out up to center ice. Here's Mike Bossy, their leading scorer. Drives it into the King zone. Cut off behind the net by Darren Elliott. Elliott passes around the right side. Kings can't clear it out. Held in now by the Islanders, Randy Boyd. He wraps it around the right side to Bossy. He tried to center it. Broken up by Dion, and it's cleared off the boards back out to center ice. Thomas Janssen back to get it for the Islanders. As you join us on radio and TV, Kings are moving left to right. Puck to taken away at the King blue line by Wells. Right side now to Paul Gay with a drive, and it's wide to the right. Rebound taken by Thomas Janssen. His pass around now on the left side, or right side on the Islander zone. Picked up by Mike Bossy. Bossy clears it ahead, and it's tipped out to center ice. Taken by the Kings, Gary Galley. Game just underway. No score, first period. Marcel Dion drives it down into the Islander zone, and over to pick it up is Stefan Pearson. He tried to give it to Trotje. One off his stick and taken away at center ice by the Kings. Redman feeds it down the right side to Taylor with a drive. Blocked on the way in by Dennis Potvan. Potvan feeds it up the right side. Back comes uh, the Islanders with Mark Hamway out of Michigan State University. He drives it behind the King net. It bounces off Bernie Nichols. Fighting for it on the left side is Phil Sykes, and he clears it out to center. Kings uh, have the line of Nichols at center with Taylor on the right wing and Phil Sykes on the left. Puck is taken at center ice by Hamway for the Islanders. He drives it into the King zone. Puck comes around now to the Kings' Dave Taylor. Taylor up to center ice. Taylor's pass knocked down by Trotje. He flips it back to Dennis Potvin. Now to John Tonelli. Here's Tonelli to the red line. Islanders drive it into the Kings' zone. Stopped by the uh, stick of Darren Elliott as he came out of the net toward his uh, right side. Now behind the King net, taken by Engblom. He feeds it up the left side. We've played almost two minutes of the first period. Scoreless tie. Here's Taylor for the Kings. Sends it down the right side into the Islanders' zone. Bernie Nichols couldn't pick it up. It's taken there by Paul Boudelier. Cleared out to center. Islanders with it now. Pass on the left side by Dwayne Sutter, and the Islanders go offside at the King Blue Line. Brian Trache offside. 17.51 to go in the first period, and it's a scoreless tie. Well, both clubs with some tight checking here in the first two minutes of play. The Kings playing in Uniondale, New York. Kings, October 20th. 9 to 6, the Kings won that high scoring affair. Face-off out at center ice as the uh, Kings send out Doug Smith at center. Tiger Williams on the left wing and the right wing, Jim Fox. Fox had the three-goal hat trick against the Islanders in the first game between the two teams in Los Angeles this year. And the third goal for Jim in his first career hat trick came with only 32 seconds remaining in the game. But the Islanders won it in overtime and the goal by Trache. Puck is in the Islanders' zone now. Sutter sends it around. Brent Sutter is out of the lineup as the... Islanders have brother Dwayne in there tonight. Now Kenny Morrow for New York. He headmans it up as Hausen sends it to center. A rookie, Scott Hausen. His pass taken away by the Kings. No score first period. Kings and the Islanders with 17-14 to go in the first period. Kings with it at center ice now. Here's Rick LaPointe. He sends it into the Islanders zone. Picked up by Tiger Williams. To LaPointe, right side. He shoots. Deflected off the glass. And the net gets knocked off the magnets. And oh, look out in the corner now. We've got Clark Gillies knocking down Doug Smith. Smith and Gillies were standing right next to each other, and Gillies got his stick up and knocked Smith down. And let's see what kind of penalties we're going to get out of this. Well, Tiger Williams coming over to try and pick up for Doug Smith. And, of course, Doug Smith uh, plays a little bit more aggressive with Tiger Williams on his left side. And what center would not? And Tiger Williams certainly is not happy with what Doug Smith received from big Clark Gillies. So we have no score in the first period. We'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Out on the town, flying around, pizzas disappear. And the puck comes up to center ice. Uh, we had no penalties after that little spreakus. Islanders with it. Uh, drive from the right side. Deflected wide. Picked up by Dwayne Sutter. He got the first shot. He comes around in front. He shoots and a save. Rebound up the middle. Taken by Doug Smith. 
Smith back to center for the Kings. Smith down the left side, comes across the blue line. He's stopped by Thomas Johnson. Smith still with it. Try to pass in deep behind the net to Fox. Here's Fox with it behind the Islander net. Around the right side to Kennedy. Shooting and a save by Billy Smith. And the puck is cleared by Dwayne Sutter of New York. High into the air and it bounces down into the King zone. Back to get it, Jay Wells. 16-21 to go in the first period. No score in the game. Kings moving from left to right. Pass ahead now to J.P. Kelly. Kelly down the right side. Stops to the right point with a shot and a stick save by Billy Smith. Puck comes in deep. Taken by Hawkinson. He knocks down Stefan Pearson and Pearson is injured. Stefan Pearson got knocked down by Anders Hawkinson and Pearson is down on his hands and knees and now getting up to his skates in the Islander zone. Well, J.P. Kelly and Anders Hawkinson out for the first time tonight and two pretty good four checkers and they are not afraid to throw their weight around and it was Anders Hawkinson who clipped his fellow Swede the veteran defenseman pinned his shoulder against the boards and glass in the corner to the left of goaltender Billy Smith and J.P. Kelly came in and he racked up uh, Kenny Morrow pretty good Parison a little shaky as he goes to the Rangers or rather the Islanders bench Parison 6'1 189 31 years old Playing away again now as the puck comes out toward the right point. Gary Galley, who had a goal the other night against the New Jersey Devils. He's got four on the year, but he couldn't hold it in. He comes back to the King line and gives it to Jay Wells. Wells passing off on the right side. No score first period. Here's Galley with it. Galley at center ice. He tried to get it to Brian Wilkes. Wilkes to Hawkinson. Hawkinson, Islanders zone with a shot and a glove save made by Billy Smith. Puck is taken now by Clark Gillies. Gillies pass up to center ice. Islanders... Uh, Bring it now as Potvan sends it on the left side into the King zone. Chased in deep by Galley against the left wing boards. Now Roger Kortko checked there by Brian Welch. Puck is dug out by Miko Makala out of Finland. Makala in front, shot by Flatley and a save off the stick of Darren Elliott. Puck taken by Wells and he drives it around out to center ice. 15-15 to go in the first period. Bob Miller with Nick Nixon. The Kings and the Islanders, no score, first period. Puck taken now by the Kings of their own blue line. Islanders on a line change. Here's Galley giving it to McClellan. Right side, he shoots, and a save by Billy Smith between his pads. And we'll have a face-off with 15.02 to go in the first period. It's the Kings nothing and the Islanders nothing. Last start for Billy Smith against Quebec as the Islanders defeated Quebec 6-5, spoiling their perfect start. Smith gave up five goals in the first 30 minutes. At the other end, the first really good scoring chance for either team, Patrick Flatley, right winger for the New York Islanders, number 26, set up right in the slot. Good pressure by that Islander line. From about 20 feet in front, Elliott got a piece of it, and it just deflected to his right past the far goal post. Face off in the Islander zone taken by Paul Boudelier. Boudelier passing up to Mike Bossy. Bossy gives it back to Thomas Johnson. Johnson back behind his own net. He gives it up on the left side now to Ari Hanpa. He is knocked down by the Kings. McClellan. Kings hold it in. Here's Redmond shooting safe. Rebound. Dion with it. He kicked it toward the net and a save made. Nick, I don't think it would have counted. He kicked it with his skate. He directed it toward the net. There's no score in the first period. And we'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Playing hockey like a superstar calls for quick response made the save and then McClellan and Dion both with opportunities but I think you're right Dion kicking it with his right skate and in good position was referee Dennis Morell he was ready to wave it off had it gone in face off will be to the left of goaltender Billy Smith of the Islanders and on the draw with Dion the Islanders poke it out to center ice poked ahead there by Ari Hanpa the youngest member of the Islanders at 19 years old puck is uh, now at center ice and picked up by the Kings Brian McClellan but he brought it across the blue line and Dion who had not gotten out of the zone yet was offside on the play we have 14:30 to go here in the first period no score in the game Mike Bossy out on right wing with LaFontaine at center and Hanpa on the left side Eight years, eight consecutive years with 50 or more goals. That's a National Hockey League record. Now the puck taken by the Islanders back in their own zone. Here's Thomas Johnson sends it up to Ari Hanpa at center. He tried to get it on the right side to Mike Bossy, taken away by Redmond. Redmond sends it down the left side to Paul Gay, Islander zone. Here's Gay against the left wing boards. He drives it behind the net. Billy Smith cuts it off there. It's poked away from him by McClellan. Now McClellan has it, left wing corner, Islander zone. He passes back along the right wing boards to Paul Gay. We got a penalty coming up. Penalty against the Islanders, I believe, here, as the puck is touched by the Islanders. 
Randy Boyd, we have a holding penalty called against the New York Islanders. And the Kings will go on the power play with 13.54 to go in the first period. And there's no score in this game. Thomas Janssen for the Islanders will go for holding. Game's first penalty, 6.06 the time here in period number one. The Kings going on the power play and still looking for their first power play goal on the road. Janssen checking Dion in the corner to the right of the Islander goal. And as the puck came back on the near side, Janssen just kept holding on to Dion and pinning him. So he gets the penalty. Nick, the Kings, 0 for their last 17 on the power play. And they don't have a power play goal on the road yet this year. That's right. Overall, they are 0 for their last 17 on the season. 10% ranking just 20th. 5 of 50 overall. The penalty killing for the Islanders is seventh. The Islander power play has struggled as well. They haven't had the man advantage yet, but both the Kings and the Islanders the last three or four years have had exceptional power play. Matt Kings with a chance to take the lead, but the Islanders, Paul Baudelaire, clears it all the way down in the Kings zone. Darren Elliott, who has five losses, no wins, and no ties on the year, clears it around over to Gary Galley. Galley to Fox. Islanders pressuring now. Trache chasing Fox up to the blue line. Fox stops there, gives it to Brian Engblom. Engblom with it. Kings going back in their own zone. Engblom back behind the net. Kings have Doug Smith up front with McClellan, who's got three power play goals, all his goals in the power play. Engblom from center ice drives it into the Islander zone. Here's Fox, sends it behind the net. Morrow takes it away, can't clear it. Left point held in by Engblom to uh, McClellan, to Smith, to Engblom, to Smith, left side. Smith into Fox. Fox on the left side of the net to Smith, up the middle to Engblom. Engblom shoots, blocked by Tonelli, and a nice pass over to Trache. Trache didn't clear it out yet, but now he gives it to Kenny Morrow. And Morrow shoots it into the King zone. Steered into the boards by Elliott, picked up by Tonelli. The Trache is shot is wide. Kings now with the man one advantage, the with one minute left to go in the penalty. Puck comes up to center. Fox with it now. Fox sending it to McClellan. Here's Mac at the red line. He gives it over to Dion. Dion drives it in deep in the Islanders zone. Back behind the net. Billy Smith cuts it off there. There's no penalty clock in this building. Puck is uh, picked up in the right wing corner by Pat Flatley of the Islanders. Taylor comes barreling in. He holds it in. He gives it to McClellan. Down in the right wing corner. Islanders zone to Taylor. Now to McClellan. Now behind the net with less than 30 seconds to go in the power play. Dion tried to dig it out. He couldn't get it. And it's poked out to center ice by Roger Cortko of the Islanders. 12-10 to go in the first period. No score in the game. King power play nearing its end, and they are just about ready to be 0 for 17. Eight seconds left to go in the power play. Kings with it. Dion at, at center ice. Here's Dion to the Islander line. His pass to Tiger Williams broken up, and the power play is over as we have an offside as Potvan checks Tiger Williams right at the boards, and then looked like he maybe got in a little extra shove. And Tiger Williams of the Kings and Dennis Potvan of the Islanders push at each other. But the Kings, 0 for their last 18 now on the power play, and we still have no score in the game. Tiger Williams, I think, uh, reminding the Islanders about what happened to Doug Smith, first shift of the game for the Smith line when he was dumped right after the whistle by Big Clark Gillies. Good, aggressive penalty killing by the Islanders. Started off with a couple of veterans up front, Trottier and John Tonelli, and Bob, a lot of teams employ penalty killers that maybe aren't their biggest stars, but when the Islanders throw out two guys like Tonelli and Trottier to kill a penalty, you have to consider them a scoring threat as well. And Tonelli almost set up Trottier. He did set, set him up with a pretty good pass deep in the King zone, but Trottier's shot uh, went wide by a wide margin. 11.49 to go in the first period. Bernie Nichols out with Paul Gay on his right side and uh, Phil Sykes over on the left. And off the draw now, it's taken by the Islanders. Back of their own zone, Randy Boyd with it. Boyd sends it over and uh, gets it back again as they break out. Here's Trache to center. Trache to the red line. He shoots it into the King zone. No score, first period. Darren Elliott drags it for Kennedy. He spun around behind the net by John Tonelli. Tonelli, a great digger along the boards and in the corner, knocks Paul Gay down from behind, but the Kings clear it out to center ice. Here's Tonelli with it. He gives it to Trache. Islanders with it. Trache trying to get around Rick LaPointe. Now Trache in deep, trying to center it, and it's fallen on by the goaltender, Darren Elliott with 11-17 to go in the first period. And there's no score between the Kings and the Islanders.
This game is coming to you from the Nassau County Coliseum in Long Island, New York. Los Angeles Kings hockey being brought to you by Michelin. Michelin, the Kings official tire, has been making news with our XH radial. See your Michelin dealer for the tire that just might outlive your car. And by Avis. When your car's in distress, send Avis an SOS. Avis will answer with the right car at the right price. Brian Trottier back out with Tonelli up front. And Trottier has struggled in the first three weeks of the NHL season. Coming into tonight's game, the veteran, former All-Star, just two goals in his first seven games. And they have been telling us that he's not getting very many scoring opportunities. Puck is in the right wing corner of the uh, King zone. Rick LaPointe trying to move it. And his pass comes around on the right side. Kings will break out. Kennedy headbands it up to center ice and out of the reach of Paul Gay. Broken up by Boyd, but he gave it away to Nichols. Nichols shot. Blocked by Boyd. Nichols again. Islander zone. Right wing side. Nichols checked against the boards. His pass out of the right point to Dean Kennedy. Hit shot deflected by John Tonelli. Picked up on the far side by Mark Hamway, and he clears it out to center. Kings with it again. Nichols at the Islander line. He sends it down the right side behind the net. Billy Smith cuts it off there. Kings take it away. Around in front to pass up the middle, and a shot is wide to the right side by LaPointe. Now LaPointe into Sykes. Sykes pushed against the boards by Trotche. Puck is going to be taken by Hamway for the Islanders in the Islanders' zone. He clears it out to center. Dean Kennedy had it, but lost it. Here's Trotche, left side. Trotche, King's out. Stops to the top of the circle. Puck taken away by Paul Gay. Kings have a three on two. Gay with Nichols and Sykes. Here's Nichols to Gay, to Nichols, right side. Moving in, he shoots, and a save. Rebound. Sykes couldn't push it in. He got knocked down. Paul Baudelaire cleared Sykes out from the right side of the net. Good movement by the Kings on that three on two rush. Puck taken by the Islanders. Tonelli in his own in the King zone. His pass broken up. Kings with it again. Here they come. Brian Wilkes, the rookie center, to center ice with J.P. Kelly. Wilkes across the line. He shoots. It's wide to the right side. Rebound picked up uh, by the Islanders. Paul Boudelier. Boudelier plays it off the boards. Left wing. Clark Gillies. King zone. Gillies shoots. Saved by Darren Elliott. Puck is picked up by the Kings. No score. First period. 9.39 to go in the period. Hawkinson to center ice for the Kings. To Brian Wilkes. Wilkes across the line. Tried to feed it into J.P. Kelly. Tipped away and out to the right point and not cleared yet. Now it is. Picked up by Gillies. Gillies lost it to Jay Wells as he came across the King line. Kings moving left to right as you join us on radio and TV. Here's Dennis Potvin, 32 years old today with a drive and a save off the shoulder of Darren Elliott. And he covers up for the faceoff with 9.16 to go in the first period. And we have no score in this game. Well, things have opened up a little bit. The Kings and the Islanders with some good scoring opportunities. Mark Gillies, a three-on-two rush for the New York Islanders. Had plenty of room. He tried to go up high, but the save with the chest protector by Darren Elliott, who did a good job to stand his ground at the other end. Billy Smith stopping the Nichols line as the Kings had a three-on-two rush. So after a pretty tight checking first five or six minutes, some good end-to-end -end rushes by both clubs. Kings next home game Wednesday, November 6th. Wayne Gretzky and the Edmonton Oilers. Tickets available. And from the left point, a shot by Dennis Potvin deflected wide. They got Bossy and Potvin out, but the Kings clear at the length of the ice as McClellan drives it into the Islander zone, and we have an icing call against the Kings with 9.03 to go in the first period. Dennis Potvin, as I just mentioned, when he got that shot from the left point, 32 years old, and then the other side of the spectrum with the Islanders, the youngster, Pat LaFontaine. And we'll be chatting with the former U.S. Olympian between periods one and two tonight, Pat LaFontaine, and later on in the broadcast this evening, we'll talk with another Olympian off the Kings roster, defenseman Craig Redmond. LaFontaine, Bob, getting a lot of ice time on the power play, penalty killing, and the regular shift. Kings with it in their own zone. Back behind the net is Brian Engblom. Engblom headmans it up to center. Stefan Pearson, who got shaken up earlier in the period, back out onto the ice for New York. His pass taken away by Dion in front. He shoots safe. Rebound shot again. A save on the shot by McClellan. Puck comes against the right wing boards. Billy Smith stops Dion. Then he stops McClellan. Puck is still in the Islander zone. And against the right wing boards, Paul Gay digs it out. Here's Gay. His pass in deep. Stefan Pearson will intercept for the Islanders. He clears it up to center ice. Chased down by LaFontaine, but getting in front of him to poke it away was Craig Redmond. Now the goaltender, Darren Elliott, to Paul Gay. Gay's pass to center ice went behind Dion and back to get it in the Islanders zone. Thomas Johnson, 8.15 to go, first period. Bob Miller with Nick Nixon, scoreless tie. 
Islanders with it. Mike Bossy at the left point. Drops it back now to Randy Boyd. Boyd at the left point. Over to LaFontaine. LaFontaine had it uh, taken away by Engblom. He gives it to Taylor. Here's Taylor with Nichols. They crisscross at center ice. Taylor down the right side. He's checked there. Taylor into the corner. He's bumped by Randy Boyd. Taylor gets it over to Sykes. Sykes on the left wing can't hang on to it. And Hamway takes it for the Islanders. Hamway clears it to center ice. No score, first period. Kings take away. Here's Kennedy ahead to Taylor. Down the middle. Taylor right side. Pope checked off his stick by Pearson. Nichols shooting. Saved by Billy Smith. As he had traffic in front of him, Bill Sykes trying to screen the goaltender. Islanders come back. Three on two. Trotche. Over score by John Tonelli. Bob, Bernie Nichols just couldn't come back quick enough to pick up that third Islander on that offensive rush. The two defensemen were back, but they passed the puck beautifully. Trottier saw that Tonelli had a half a step on Bernie Nichols, and there you see the importance of the forwards coming back quickly, but it was a quick breakout by the Islanders, and Trottier, a very smart hockey player, no doubt about that. He's been doing it for years. He sets up Tonelli, who has become somewhat of a king killer the last three years. He has scored his share of goals against Los Angeles. The time at 12.30 here in the first. John Tonelli with his third from Trache and Hamway. And the Kings down one to nothing. Puck taken by the Islanders again. And across the line, Miko Makala. Kings take it away, clear into center. Here's Doug Smith. Smith down the left side. Smith into the Islander zone, going in deep. Goes behind the net, comes around the right side. Drops it off in the corner now. Tiger Williams digs for it. He's checked from behind by Roger Kortko. They spin against the boards. Puck is taken by Boudelier. Seven minutes to go. First period, 1-0 Islanders. They scored right after Billy Smith made a couple of big saves in the Islanders zone on Dion and McClellan. And now the Islanders are called for icing. It's 1-0 Islanders in the first period. We'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. The scratches tonight for the Islanders. They have quite a few injured. Gilbert, Brent Sutter, Nystrom, Bassett, and Bourne for the Kings. Curry and Hardy on the injured list. An extra forward who was on the trip, but uh, because of numbers, not in the lineup. And that is left winger Lyle Fair. Kings win the draw. Jay Wells with a drive from the top of the slot. Saved by Billy Smith. Rebound. They tried to get it to Tiger Williams. He couldn't get it. Islanders come back. Moving right to left. Here's Makala across the line. Down the left side. Cut off there by Gary Galley. Out to the blue line. Boudelier with a drive. Blocked on the way in as the King goaltender Darren Elliott got his stick on it. Here's Tiger Williams to center. Williams gives it to Jim Fox. Fox across the line. Islanders own, but Boudelier breaks it up there. 6.28 to go in the first period. Islanders with it. Roger Kurtko. His shot to Deflected into the corner by Gary Galley. Puck taken by the Kings. Here's Jay Wells, assistant captain. He gives it to Galley. Galley at the King line. Back over to Wells. Wells up to center ice. Wells still with it there. His pass comes over now to Doug Smith. Smith across the Islander line. Smith, top of the slot. His pass on the right wing side. In the corner, Tiger Williams. Williams still with it. Williams gives it on the right side to Fox. Up the middle to Galley. And it went off his stick. And he tries to hold it in. He does. Over to Fox. Fox at the right point. Drives it in behind the Islander net. Taken away by Stefan Pearson. His pass not out. Held in by the Kings again. Pass by Doug Smith to Tiger Williams. Islander zone. Williams right side. Williams double team there. Oh, and Dennis Potvin knocks Tiger Williams into the board. Kings with it. A shot by Redman and a sliding save by Billy Smith. A glove save. And he hangs on for the face-off. Well, the Kings are getting some outstanding scoring chances, but Billy Smith has been the difference as far as keeping the Kings off the board. Potvin crunching Williams. And the Kings were able to maintain possession, and Redmond moving in from his defensive spot set up beautifully, but a glove save by goaltender Billy Smith. The shots unofficially here in the first period, 11-6 for the Kings. Face off will be to the right of Billy Smith. Brian Wilkes ready on the draw for the Kings against Brian Trache of the Islanders. And off the draw, comes out to the left point, held in by Engblom. Now the pass to the blue line deflects to Redmond. Redmond sends it in deep, but it's taken away by the Islanders and cleared by Thomas Johnson out to center. 1-0 Islanders lead on the goal by Tonelli, assisted by Trache and Hamway at 12.30. 
Buck is taken now by Englom. He drives it back behind the Islander net. Stopped there by Billy Smith. Now it comes around on the left side of Thomas Johnson. Johnson moving out of his own zone. Up to center ice he comes. He slides it over now. Here's Randy Boyd across the line. Boyd down the left side. He shoots wide to the right side. Puck comes out to Thomas Johnson. His shot. Stick save by Elliott. And the puck comes over to Boyd. A shot and a save by Elliott. Boyd again in the slot. Can't hang on to it. Taken away now by the Kings and cleared out to center ice. So Darren Elliott coming up with some fine saves on three straight shots by the Islanders. Islanders ahead, 1-0. Islanders starting to hit now as Gillies pass up the middle, poked away to the blue line. Boudelier, his pass taken by Gillies, left side. He can't uh, get a shot. He comes against the left wing boards, pinned there by Hawkinson, and the puck is whistled dead in the King zone. It's the Islanders leading, 1 to nothing, and we'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Now, Chevy announces... Goaltenders now coming up with some excellent saves. Dion ready on the faceoff of the King zone. It comes to the Islanders, Ari Hanpa. Hanpa on the left side. He goes into the corner. He's checked there. Buck is dug out now by LaFontaine. Up the middle, Morrow shoots. Save as it was blocked in front. Perhaps Elliott got a piece of it. And the Kings drive it the length of the ice into the Islanders zone. And back to get it is Boudelier. And we have an icing call against the Kings. Islanders lead it. One to nothing. 4.13 left to go here in this first period. Well, a lot of family entertainment going on now at the fabulous Forum through Sunday. Ice Capades featuring Kitty and Peter Carruthers. The Ice Capades now through Sunday at the Forum. Face off will be to the left of Darren Elliott and on the draw, Islanders with it. Kenny Morrow shooting, safe, rebound, another save as he beat Mike Bossy. Islanders pass it up the middle, Kings take it away. Back they come, here's McClellan down the left wing, Islanders zone. McClellan to Dion, right side, he shoots and a glove save by Billy Smith. Good save at the other end by Darren Elliott on Mike Bossy. It's 1-0 Islanders. LaFontaine down the right side and Rick LaPointe hip checks him into the boards. Good check by LaPointe to take LaFontaine out of the play. Puck comes up to center ice. Paul Gay for the Kings. He's on with Deanna McClellan and Gay fires it down into the Islanders zone with 3.35 to go in the first period. Kings down 1-0. Islanders right side. LaFontaine moving in. His pass blocked by Jay Wells. LaFontaine out to the right point to Stefan Pearson. Back to Pat LaFontaine. Here's LaFontaine knocked down against the boards by Wells. And a good hit by Bernie Nichols on Hanpa. And the puck comes off on the right side to Dave Taylor. Taylor headmans it up to center to Sykes. Kings down 1-0. Here's Sykes across the blue line. Drops it to Galley. Galley shoots and a stick save by Billy Smith. Rebound to Nichols right side. Nichols shoots. Save Smith. Rebound taken by Dennis Potvin of the Islanders. Three minutes to go in the first period, and we're going to get an icing call against New York as uh, they send it into the Kings zone. If the Kings get to it first, and they do, as Gary Galley gets to it before Brian Trache. 2.56 left to go in the first period, and the Islanders have a 1-0 lead. This is an official copyrighted broadcast of California sports and the Los Angeles Kings and is intended solely for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, rebroadcast, or other use of the accounts of this game without the express written consent of the Kings is prohibited. Pat Quinn and the Los Angeles Kings in the midst of the longest road trip of the season. This is game three of six in a row on the road and the Kings desperately looking for some points to stay close to Calgary and Vancouver. The Canucks off to a decent start at least for them, they're playing 500 hockey, but much better than last year's disaster. LaFontaine has set up a couple of his defensemen tonight. Right there, he set up Ken Morrow before we got the icing call. LaFontaine tomorrow, number six on the Islander blue line, and through traffic, the save was made. Well, he made a great save on number 22, Mike Bossy, as uh, Elliott went lunging to his right to keep Bossy off the board. 2.48 to go in the first period. Puck is in the right wing corner of the Islander zone. Sykes takes it out. Sykes shooting from the left side. A save by Billy Smith. Puck got uh, almost knocked off the magnets, and a penalty coming up now. Cross-checking against Randy Boyd to the Islanders as he knocked Dave Taylor down. Oh, I think holding rather than cross-checking. Let's see thought the preliminary uh, indication was cross-checking. 
It is holding Randy Boyd. 17-21 will be the time, so the Kings working on the power play again. This will be the second man advantage in the period. They are 0 for their last 18 now. The power play is produced at just a 10% clip coming into tonight's action. Nichols and Redmond will start on the points. Dion, McClellan, and Taylor reunited for the specialty teams. Pat Quinn the other night in New Jersey. Bob shook up all the line combinations. And despite the fact the Kings lost, I thought uh, they played well all four lines. Now the Kings trying to tie the game. Puck comes around the right side. Here's Bernie Nichols. Nichols in the Islanders zone. He gets checked there. Islanders come back two on two. Kortko gives it on the right side now. And moving in flatly, his pass in front. Broken up by Dion. As Flatley tried to center it, Kings come back. Here is Nichols across the line. Nichols, top of the slot, trying to give it to Taylor on the right side. Tipped away. Islanders control it and clear it out to center ice. Nichols trying to pick it up, couldn't get it. Court goal for the Islanders. He gives it to Morrow. Here's Kenny Morrow. Back over to Boudelier. Paul Boudelier for the Islanders. Kings on the power play, but they can't get the puck. Here's Boudelier at center, and now he drives it into the Kings zone with 1.55 to go in the first period. Kings moving left to right, up to center ice. Here's Nichols over to Dion. Dion across the line. Dion, Islander zone. Dion gets the pass to Nichols. Nichols back over and a score as Brian McClellan gets his fourth of the year on a great pass by Bernie Nichols. I thought Nichols was going to shoot. He gave it right back to McClellan, and Brian McClellan has tied the game on a power play goal from Nichols and Dion. Nichols looked like he was going to shoot, gave it right back over to McClellan, and he put it off the crossbar into the net. And it's a power play goal for the Kings from Nichols and Dion, the way the assist should be. And with 1.43 to go here in the first period, it's 1-1 as Brian McClellan with four goals now, all on the power play. Nice passing by the Kings from in close. As Nichols gave it to McClellan. Now right side, Tonelli, his uh, shot and score off Darren Elliott. Tonelli was trying to pass to the left side of the net, and it looked like it hit Darren Elliott and went into the Kings net, and the Islanders come right back and lead two to nothing. And that's the type of thing that's been happening to the Kings all season long. It went right off the stick of Elliott, and either into the net or then off of Galley. Over there was Mark Hamway, who may get credited for the goal if Hamway got his stick on it, although the King, King goaltender, Darren Elliott, had his stick on it first. They're going to credit it, I think, to Mark Hamway, the rookie out of Michigan State. Kings drive it into the Islander zone. 1.15 left to go in the first period. It's 2-1 Islanders right after the Kings had tied it up on a power play goal. Back on the Islanders now. King zone. Sutter's pass on the right side. Broken up by Doug Smith. Smith back out to center. Three on three. Line Smith with Fox and Williams. There's Smith. His shot hits the side of the net. Rebound. Fox behind the net. Can't hang on to it. Puck taken away by John Tonelli. That man's it up to center ice. Sutter with it there, but he's bumped by Jay Wells. Gets it to Tonelli. Tonelli down the left side. Tonelli still with it. Left wing boards. His pass down to the corner now. And a shot deflected in front as Scott Housen sent it in front of the net. And it was sticked away by Elliott. It went back to Tonelli, tipped away from him. Picked up now by the Kings, Doug Smith, and he drives it in. And the Kings, Tiger Williams, offside on the play. That goal came at 18-17. 31 seconds remaining here in the first period. It's 2-1 Islanders. McClellan from Nichols and Dion at 18-17, tied it at 1-1. Tonelli gets the goal, not Hamway, so Hamway never got to it. Unassisted at 18.30. 13 seconds after the Kings had tied it. Tonelli put it in either off of Elliott, the King goaltender, or off of Elliott and Gary Galley. And it is a 2-1 Islander lead. 18 seconds left to go in the first period. There's a drive from the left side of the Islander zone by Sykes and a stop made. Huck comes up the left wing side and cleared out to center ice by Ari Hanpa. Taken now on the right side by Pat LaFontaine. He's got Hanpa down the middle. He couldn't get it. Neither could Bossy. Puck is back behind the net. Darren Elliott with it there. And time runs out in the first period. 
Tonelli with two goals and McClellan with one for the Kings. The shots on goal. The Kings had 17. The Islanders had 11, but the Islanders lead it two to one. You know, in the past few years, the sport of hockey has also become a great one to read about. If you're interested in the world of hockey and maybe learning a little bit more about it, well, there's no shortage of good hockey reading material for you to go to. There are so many styles of hockey books. I'd say there's probably as many styles of hockey books as there are styles of playing in the National Hockey League. For example, some books uh, take a look at players of past years. Others look more at the inner workings of the game. While some hockey books are just for fun. One of the newest hockey books out was written by a current member of the LA Kings, Dave Tiger Williams. Now Dave Williams may seem like an unlikely author, but he has his reasons for writing his autobiography. Well, I wanted to write the book while I was playing, and uh, I wanted to write it while I was still in Canada because I felt there was more market for it. So uh, there was a few things I wanted to say that uh, had been uh, had been written about and were were public uh, knowledge, but they weren't right. They weren't. Uh, uh, they were never written properly in the papers or, or talked about properly. Another thing is, uh, like anything else, it's another challenge in life. And I'm one of those guys that I like to be busy all the time. And the book kept me busy, and it turned out to be uh, the right thing to do. Tiger had no doubts about his book's success. I knew the book would do well for, for a couple of reasons. One is... Uh, a lot of guys write a book, but they, a lot of innuendo, a lot of beating around the bush, and uh, I think people, uh, the public, you know, they, they know what's going on, and they, they want to hear the hard facts and, and the way that uh, the individual thought it was, you know, and uh, that's why I wrote the book, and that's, I think, the strength of the book is uh, the honesty and, and the integrity of it. And Tiger's positive attitude carries over to his style on the ice. I want to be the leading goal scorer in 1985-86. I don't think that's a very realistic attitude, and I don't think I'll be able to, I, but I'm going to try my damnedest to reach that goal. But I don't think, I, you know, I think there's other guys that will, will probably beat me. But uh, for anybody who comes and thinks, geez, I'm only going to score five goals again this year, the guy's a loser. You know, we, you know, we don't want him on our team, especially here in L.A. So we want everybody to, to, to want to be the best. and and. Uh, I would, I would like to be the same. It would be nice to just go out there and have everybody look after me instead of doing it the other way around. But that's, that's just not the way I, I would never be. It's just not me. From Tiger to Gump to the Hammer, great characters, great sport, hockey. Check it out at your local bookstore. Tiger Williams of the Los Angeles Kings, an author and a, not a bad hockey player. He's out to a good start so far this season. Wayne Gretzky has moved right up to a very familiar place for him. He is the leading scorer in the National Hockey League as of right now. Gretzky of the Oilers with 20 points. Islander zone. The puck is down in the corner. Boyd with it. He sends it over on the left side now, and it's taken by Ari Hanpa. Hanpa up to center ice, knocked away by Paul Gay. Gay knocked it down, but Randy Boyd has it. He drives it in up in the air, and it's gloved by the King goaltender, Darren Elliott. Second period just underway. Kings trailing 2-1. Kings come back. They're moving right to left. Here's Paul Gay, the rookie, down the right side, trying to get around Randy Boyd. He can't do it. Boyd checks him there. John, or the uh, Kings can't pick it up as it's out of the reach of McClellan. But now Wells shooting and a save by Billy Smith. Puck comes down to the right point. Gary Galley dragged it out to center ice while he tried to hold it in. Now he has to give it to Jay Wells. Wells pass. Knocked down by Ari Hanpa. Hanpa, the Islanders, sends it down into the Kings zone. And back to get it now is Jay Wells. Here's Wells starting out of the King zone. His pass is knocked down. Good check by Galley, but LaFontaine holds it in. Now we have the puck knocked out of the air with a high stick. Gary Galley for the Los Angeles Kings on defense, second year defenseman. Kings now down to six defensemen with Ken Hammond being assigned to New Haven a couple of days ago. If you've just joined us, the Kings now down to 21 available players. Good hard check on the near side as the Islanders knock the puck out of the air with a high stick. Gary Galley. Two years out of Bowling Green, a member of their NCAA championship club in 82-83. Dennis Potvan back at his own line now for the Islanders as they move left to right. Pass to Brian Trache. Tipped away at center ice. Kings control it. Here's Engblom on the left side. Kings are down 2-1. 
Puck is taken now by Phil Sykes, and he drives it into the Islander zone. Back behind the net, veteran Billy Smith gives it to Dennis Pontvan. Pontvan comes along the boards and falls down, and Taylor helped him there. Taylor with it to Sykes, and he hit the side of the net. Sykes with a shot from the left wing, hit the side of the net. Puck is still in the Islander zone. Islanders lead it 2-1, but Trache digs it out. Here's a two-on-two. Two. Here's Tonelli with Mark Hamway, and it's poke checked away at the King Blue Line by Craig Redmond, and the Islanders go offside. First period statistics, Islanders leading 2-1. to one. The shots favored the Kings 17-11. to 11. The faceoffs were rather even, 10 for the Islanders and 9 for the Kings. No penalties to the Kings. The Kings had the only two power plays, and they scored on the power play for the first time in 19 chances. The goal by McClellan, his fourth and his fourth power play goal of the season. Kings change lines now. They send out Doug Smith with Tiger Williams on the left wing and Jim Fox on the right side. Islanders with it. Paul Boudelier drives it down into the Kings zone. It's picked up now by the Kings as Tiger Williams brings it out. He's got Fox with him. Here's Tiger over to Fox. Right side. Fox shoots and a safe rebound. Shot by Doug Smith deflected over the net by Billy Smith. Smith with it again. Left side. They are not related. Here is a pass to Tiger Williams. Out to the left point to Rick LaPointe. His shot blocked by Roger Kortko. Kortko knocks uh, Rick LaPointe down, and LaPointe falls on top of the puck. And we'll have a faceoff coming up, but Billy Smith is making some pretty good stops in that Islander net. It's 2-1 Islanders. We'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Playing hockey like a superstar calls for quick response. Outstanding in goal. Billy Smith, his last start here at home against Quebec, allowed five goals in the first 30 minutes, was pulled. But tonight, he has been nothing short of sensational. The only goal that beat him was on the power play. Well, they said Billy was a little concerned. He had an average of 5.20, and he played only two and a half games. And uh, so he's out to prove that he's ready to get going in this season. And he's having a fine game so far tonight. Things are down two to one. Pass up the right side to court goal, but an offside two-line pass called against the Islanders. John Tonelli, Bob, with two goals already. Remember that game about a year ago here in this building? The Islanders won it eight to three. Tonelli, Brent Sutter, and Bossy, the line that night. And they just destroyed the Kings. They were out there for seven of the eight goals that the Islanders scored that evening. Mike Bossy, if I remember correctly, had a seven-point game. We have some out-of-town scores to update you on. New Jersey, 3-1 over Boston in the second. Pittsburgh, 3-2 over Hartford in the second. Quebec shutting out Montreal in the second, 4-0. Washington, 5-1 over St. Louis in the second period. Faceoff will be now to the right of Billy Smith in the Islanders' zone. Kings send out Brian Wilkes out with the left wing Kelly and the right wing is Anders Hawkinson. And off the draw, the puck is in the left wing corner of the Islander zone. Kings trying to tie it up for the second time in the game. Puck is behind the net. Billy Smith gives it over to Randy Boyd. Boyd passes up to center ice and it's chased down there by Brian Wilkes. Wilkes gives it back at the king line to Jay Wells. Wells pass is tipped into the Islander zone. Thomas Johnson back to get it, cleared it out to center. J.P. Kelly takes it away. Kelly for the Kings, back over to Wells. Now back at the uh, center circle. Here's Wilkes with it, has to go back into the Kings zone to control it. 17 minutes left to go in the second period. Bob Miller with Nick Nixon. Kings are down 2-1 to the Islanders. Kings trying to break a five-game losing streak. Puck is in the Islanders zone, but the Islanders control it now. Thomas Johnson starts out. Johnson pass, left side to Tonelli. Tonelli drops it to Dwayne Sutter, shooting in a save by Elliott. Rebound, Tonelli looking for the hat trick, didn't take the shot. At the left point to Randy Boyd. Boyd to Tonelli. He gets tied up in the circle. Kings dig it out. Here is Hawkinson giving it up at center ice now to Brian Wilkes. Kings are going to change on the fly. 2-1 Islanders lead. Islanders with it. Pass up by Randy Boyd to center to Dwayne Sutter. Here's Sutter across the line with Ari Hanpa. Sutter down the right side trying to get around Engblom. Sutter behind the net. Around the left side. Pass up the middle. Stefan Pearson. His pass to Potvan. Potvan trying to give it to Pat LaFontaine. He didn't get it. Dwayne Sutter holds it in. Now the puck taken away by Brian McClellan, the Kings. He tried to clear it. Couldn't do it. Now Mack overskated it. And now he comes back to get it as he took it away from Pat LaFontaine. Pass on the right side to Dion. He shoots and a stick save by Billy Smith. Rebound shot by McClellan. Save. Rebound Dion. He shoots wide. Rebound McClellan. Centers it up the middle. Intercepted by Ari Hanpa. Back come the Islanders. Three on three. Hanpa from Finland. Down the right side. Trying to get around Engblom and Brian plays the body. 
Puck comes in deep. Englom taken into the boards by Hanpa. Puck is still battled for and is loose. Dug out now by Bossy. He's pinned against the boards in the uh, king zone. Right wing side. He still moves it along the boards. Bossy on the right side. His pass in deep. Darren Elliott leaves it behind the net for Englom. He sends it out left point. Held in by Dennis. Puck fan with a drive wide. Rebound the goaltender Elliott. Flips it off the boards on the right wing to Paul Gay. And he clears it. Kings have had a couple of good opportunities here, Nick, in this second period. Kings are skating well, and they're skating with the Islanders in their own building, and both clubs doing a good job along the boards. 2-1 Islanders, 15-11 left to go in the second period. Kings breaking out of their own zone now. Here they come to center. At center ice, Paul Gay. He's got McClellan with him. He gives it to Mack. Left side, McClellan's pass back to Gay, and he's knocked down, taken out of the play, and the Islanders come back. Here is Hamway with Trache, two on one. Hamway moving in. He shoots, and it's wide to the right side. As Mark Hamway, the rookie, came in with Trache on the two on one. Kings come back. Here's McClellan into the Islanders zone. Left wing, McClellan. His pass up the middle, tipped by Taylor, and a save by Billy Smith. And Taylor goes behind Smith, and they get upset at each other. Brian Trache was very critical today about the lack of high-sticking penalties that have been called. He got cut by Peter Stastny for 26 stitches, no penalty. And Brian Trache said they've got to give a five-minute major for high-sticking. And the rules in the NHL are a joke if they're not going to enforce them. At one end of the ice, Hamway on the uh, two-on-one missed with his shot. The Kings came back. And as the whistle blew, Taylor went behind the goaltender, Smith. Now, Smith is a pretty good stick man in his own right. And if uh, Brian Trache has his way, Smitty might be getting a few majors. Face off taken now by the Islanders. Pass up to center ice by Hamway. Broken up, and Bernie Nichols drives it right back in. Kings have Nichols out at center. Taylor's on the right wing. Sykes on the left. Puck comes out to center ice with 14.28 left to go in the second period. Kings are down 2-1. John Tonelli's got both goals for the Islanders. Brian McClellan, a power play goal for the Kings. Puck comes off the boards, taken by Kenny Morrow. His pass to Hamway. Hamway sends it up to center ice, and it's intercepted by the Kings back of their own zone. Here's Rick LaPointe giving it to Taylor. Taylor passes on the right side to Sykes. Here's Sykes moving in with a backhander and a stick save. Sykes taken hard into the boards by Boudelier. Taylor with a behind the net. Taylor, Islander zone, tried to jam it in, and he did! Taylor scores to tie it up. Dave Taylor came around the net and just jammed it past Billy Smith, and the game is tied at 2-2. Two to two. Well, Billy Smith has played so well, and a goaltender who is playing so well just gets deflated somewhat after giving a goal up like that one. Sykes in the zone on the off wing. Missed a backhander. He was ridden into the boards hard, but he maintained his balance, got the puck to Taylor, who cut behind Billy Smith in the Islander net. Taylor couldn't feed it off, and he tried to jam it in, and he put it in the long side, and Dave Taylor has tied the game, the goal at 6-0-1. And for Dave, his third of the season. All right, Kings have tied it for the second time tonight. Let's see if they can uh, hang on to it for a while now. The last time they tied it, in 13 seconds, the Islanders came right back and took the lead. It is a 2-2 tie with 13.50 to go in the second period. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. You're watching Kings Hockey on the Prime Ticket Television Network from the Nassau County Coliseum. Prime Ticket. Play underway again. Puck is in the Islanders zone. They bring it back up to center ice now to the King line. Here is a drop pass to Thomas Janssen. Janssen left side. Can't get a shot. He now moves in. Deep pass up the middle. Broken up and taken by the Kings in their own zone as Doug Smith sends it up to Fox. He sends it across the ice over at center ice on the left side to Jay Wells who drives it into the Islander zone and it is cleared back out but we have an offside called against the Kings with 13-11 to go in the second period and the game is tied 2-2. Two two. We'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. It's in LaPointe picked up the assist and right off the draw the Kings are called on the offside so Bob Phil Sykes, two games on left wing. New Jersey last Saturday. The Islanders here tonight, and he's picked up a couple of assists. We chatted with Phil in New Jersey during two of those off days uh, since the Devils game, and he mentioned he had the most fun he's had in a long time playing left wing, his natural position the other night. 
Had a good shot on left wing uh, just moments ago, but he hit the outside of the net. Now in the King zone, it comes in deep off the stick of Dean Kennedy, taken by Darren Elliott, but he didn't clear it out. Puck van shooting from the left point. It's deflected, and the loose puck taken by, uh, by uh, J.P. Kelly. Here's Kelly coming up to center. Kelly down the right side. Bounces it off the boards. Then he's spun down by Potvan. No penalty. Here's Wilkes with it. His shot saved by Smith. Rebound up the middle. Wilkes again. Backhands it into the corner. Left wing side. Game tied 2-2. Kings in the Islander zone. Kings dig it out. Brian Wilkes up the middle now to Hawkinson. His shot blocked by Potvan. Puck is taken by the Islanders. Scott Housen up to center ice. Gives it to John Tonelli. Tonelli trying to get around Dean Kennedy. Tonelli in deep. Tonelli behind the net to Sutter. And he didn't get the pass. The puck comes up the left side. Kings with it. Back to center they come. Here's J.P. Kelly. Kelly flips it down into the Islanders zone with 12.09 to go in the second period. And the game is tied 2-2. Two two. Puck taken by Dwayne Sutter of the Islanders. Passes up the center ice. Broken up by Brian McClellan. Mack comes back down the right side. His pass into the Islander zone, broken up by Morrow, but he gave it away. Here's Dion. His pass deflects up the middle. Redmond holds it in. Redmond to Dion. Couldn't get a shot. Tipped away. Back come the Islanders on the left wing. Ari Hanpa giving it over on the right side to Pat LaFontaine. Back to Sutter. Back on the right side to Hanpa, but he couldn't get it off the boards. Now he takes it. Hanpa checked against the boards in the King zone by Englom. Englom gets help from McClellan. Puck is dug out by Bossy. Right point to Morrow. He shoots, tip, save. Rebound as LaFontaine tipped it. And Elliott made the save, and the Kings come back. Down the left side, into the Islander zone. Paul Gay, Gay to the right side. Pulled down by Morrow. No call. Puck is taken against the boards. Islander zone by McClellan. Into Gay. Gay sends it behind the net. Boudelier intercepts. Boudelier passing up on the right side to Mike Bossy. Bossy's pass. Left side. Out of the reach of Pat LaFontaine and the goaltender. Darren Elliott flips it against the boards on the right side. Taylor can't clear it. Shot by Boyd. Tip safe. Rebound LaFontaine. Couldn't get to it. Mike Bossy behind the net. His pass out in front. Hit the side of the net. Puck is dug out of the right point. Held in by Thomas Johnson. He shoots. Save in the skate of Darren Elliott. And the puck comes up into the, into the crowd. 10.50 to go in the second period. And the game tied 2-2. And Elliott, Nick, coming up with some fine saves. A lot of action around his net as the Islanders put on the pressure. I'll say this. Dennis Morrell, the referee, is letting them play here in the second period. Elliott has uh, stopped a couple of deflections, and right before we got the whistle, LaFontaine moving in front, just could not get a shot away from point blank through traffic. LaFontaine earlier had a deflection on that shift as the shot was taken from the right point by Kenny Morrow. 2-2 two -two tie, second period, 10.44 to go in the period. Jay Wells in the king zone. Wells jumps away from Hamway and clears it out to center ice. Islanders moving left to right. As you join us on radio and TV, here's Mark Hamway across the line, down the right side, taken out of the play. He digs for the puck. Kings pick it up. Pass ahead. Sykes down the left side with Taylor. Taylor, Islanders zone. Taylor over to Sykes, and he shoots, and it's deflected. He fanned on it once as it was bouncing. Then he got it again. Wells holds it in. Over to Nichols, but he overskated it. Islanders come back. Three on three. Here's Spinelli down the right side to Trotche. Moving in. Poked away by Elliott. Randy Boyd with a shot from the left side. It deflects over to Jay Wells. Pache moving across the line, came right down the middle, and now the puck goes up into the crowd. 10.03 to go here in the second period. The game is tied at two, and we'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Out of the town, Islanders, McClellan and Taylor for the Kings. And pretty consistent game for the Bob, for uh, the Kings thus far. We're midway through the second period. They're skating well, working well along the boards, and the forwards helping out, coming back in the zone for the most part. Here, Dean Kennedy in the right wing corner of the uh, King zone. He battles for it. Now, Tiger Williams trying to clear it. He did out to center ice. Roger Kortko back to get it for the Islanders. Sends it up to center, taken away by Tiger Williams. Now, Rick LaPointe. LaPointe, who assisted along with Sykes on Taylor's goal, sends it down the left side. Islanders take it away. Kortko is stopped by Tiger Williams. Rick LaPointe now throws a check and knocks Pat Flatley of the Islanders down. Now Tiger Williams at center ice drives it right back into the Islanders zone. 9.25 to go in the second period. 2-2 tie. Tiger Williams intercepts in the Islanders zone over to Smith. Saved by Billy Smith. Doug Smith had the shot and Billy Smith beat him at point blank range. Here's Tiger Williams again. Right wing side to Doug Smith. He's bumped by Dennis Potvin. Puck comes around the left wing corner. Islander zone. Doug Smith, or excuse me, Tiger Williams and Jim Fox chase it down there. They can't get it. And the Islanders ice the puck to get it out of trouble with nine minutes exactly left to go here in the 
second period of the game tied two to two. This game is coming to you from the Nassau County Coliseum in Long Island, New York. You're watching the Prime Ticket Network. Prime Ticket, Southern California's new regional sports network is your season pass. Today, November the 6th against Wayne Gretzky and the Edmonton Oilers. Gretzky, a big five-point night last night as Edmonton defeated Calgary. Six to four, the only game in the NHL on Monday night. Here it's 2-2 with 8.53 to go in the second period. The puck is right in front of the King bench. Hawkinson battling for it for the Kings, but it's taken now by Ari Hanpa. Hanpa to Mike Bossy on the right wing, and Bossy fires it into the King zone. Puck is back behind the net. Darren Elliott drops a reverse pass over to Engblom. Engblom up the left side. His pass is taken by J.P. Kelly. He clears it back down into the Islander zone. And a pass intercepted by Hawkinson at the blue line of the Islanders, but he was offside when he got to it. And the play whistled down and a faceoff outside the New York blue line. Well, Pat Quinn has to be somewhat pleased at what he's seen so far. The Kings have had all kinds of problems in their first nine games going just one and eight. For the most part, just haven't played games where they've put 60 solid minutes together. But so far here tonight, it's been a solid effort a solid game from start to this point with 829 left in the second period al arbor behind the new york islander bench of course the senior man in the nhl in terms of being with the same club for the most number of years his 13th year looked like he might retire this past summer but he said he was going to come back now at center ice king sent it to the islander line the pass by redmond Broken up, Islanders with it. Here's Tonelli, got two goals already in the first period. The puck is taken away from him, but he digs after it behind the King net, and the Kings intercept again. Pass by Redmond, up the left side. Kings are tied 2-2 with the Islanders. Redmond's pass ahead to Dion. Dion across the line, shooting, it's over the net. Rebound off the glass, picked up on the right side by Mark Hamway, and he clears it for the Islanders out to center ice. 7.49 to go in the second period. 2-2 tie, King goals tonight. Taylor and McClellan. Puck is back behind the Islander net. Pass up the middle by Thomas Johnson. Held in at the blue line by Engblom. But the Islanders clear it back to center. And now Gay takes it away for the Kings. He drives it back behind the Islander net. Thomas Johnson back to get it. Kings will change on the fly. Islanders moving left to right. Here they come to center. Thomas Johnson jumps around Nichols. Johnson across the line. Down the left side. Couldn't get around Wells. Kings come back. Here's Taylor. Ahead to Nichols. Two on one. Nichols down the right side with Taylor. Nichols shoots. And it hit the crossbar and came up into the crowd. Well, Bernie Nichols breaking up that play just inside the King blue line. The Kings stood up the Islanders and poked the puck away as the Islanders were on the attack. And quickly, Nichols and then Taylor made it a two-on-one by just hustling up with Nichols. But Janssen trying to stick handle through the entire team was stopped by Jay Wells, number 24 of the Kings. Then to Taylor. Taylor had manning to number nine, Bernie Nichols. And Taylor quickly got back to make it the two-on-one, and Nichols hit the crossbar. How many posts in the crossbar have the Kings hit in the first 10 games? Well, that's what happens when you're in a slump like this. Kings have lost five straight. Here's Dennis Potvin shooting wide to the left side. Rebound in the Kings zone. Roger Court go behind the net. Couldn't hold it there. Kings take it away. Back they come. Nice lead pass by Wells to Taylor. Taylor with Sykes. Taylor right side. Gets knocked down by Dennis Potvin and Taylor hard into the boards. Puck is dug out. Oh, and a hard check by Nichols on Stefan Pearson. Bernie Nichols lined up Stefan Pearson in the Islander zone and just drove him into the boards. Kings send it in the Islander zone again. Here's Nichols down the left side. He gives it to Taylor. Taylor cutting in. Taylor bumped into the boards by Pearson. Puck is picked up by Sykes. Here's Sykes, left side. His pass deflected, and Roger Kortko clears it ahead on the right side. Puck is brought to center by Dwayne Sutter. 2-2 two -two tie. 6.25 to go. Sutter down the middle, shooting and a save by Elliott. Sutter went around Wells, and Elliott came up with a stick save. Puck picked up by the Kings. Back they come to center. Three on three. It's Bernie Nichols. He, or excuse me, Gary Galley drives it into the Islander zone. Comes around as the Kings change on the fly. Tiger Williams, right wing side. He's bumped there by Boudelier. Tiger still fights forward in the corner. Boudelier checks him again. Doug Smith over to help out. And the puck is dug out now by Miko Makala. He can't clear it. Kings hold it in at the blue line, but the Islanders take over again. Court go. He gives it to Makala. Out of Finland. Here's Makala against the point. Makala right side. Backhand. Pass in front. Broken up by Dean Kennedy. Kings trying to clear it, and they do. Up to Doug Smith on the right wing. Here's Smith. Here he comes across the line. Poke checked away and cleared by Makala. Back down into the Kings zone, and Darren Elliott way out into the circle. Stick handles with it and clears it up to center ice. Five and a half minutes left to go in the second period. Bob Miller with Nick Nixon. Game tied 2-2. Puck is in the Islanders zone. 
Deflected off the glass by Morrow. Out the center, taken by LaPointe. LaPointe to Smith, and offside go the Kings. The game tied at 2-2, two to two, and we'll be right back here at Nassau County. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. For the Kings, Tonelli with both goals for the New York Islanders. And at the other end, Jay Wells, a little inside-out move by Dwayne Sutter, and Dwayne Sutter almost beat Elliott on the short side, but Elliott came up with the save. 27-16, the Kings have outshot the New York Islanders. Dwayne Sutter playing without his brother Brent, who is on the injured list and uh, not playing for the Islanders these days. Pass up to center to Mike Bossy. His pass tipped away and taken to the King Blue Line by Anders Hawkinson. And as the Hawk gets checked at center ice, the puck comes up out of play. Talking a little bit more about Mike Bossy, you can talk all night about him. He's that good. NHL record for most 50 goal seasons, and they've all been consecutive since he broke in eight years ago. He's had eight consecutive 50 plus goal seasons, four times first team All Star, and he should get his 500th this year. Needs 26 goals to become the 11th player in NHL history to hit the 500 goal plateau. You know, Nick, he's one of only three players in NHL history to have four 60 goal seasons. The others, not bad goal scorers, Phil Esposito and Wayne Gretzky. That's the company that Mike Bossy is in. Puck is back behind the King net now, taken by the rookie, Mark Hamway. He's checked in the corner on the left side by Redmond. Redmond and Hamway. Now Engblom comes in to help out. Now Dion behind the net. He gets tied up and thrown down by Tonelli and the referee Morrell looking right at it doesn't do anything about it now Tonelli on the left side Tonelli now checked by Dion against the boards Tonelli just reached out and threw Dion down to the ice and the uh, referee Dennis Morrell stood there and looked at it he had a good view of it but he didn't use his whistle on it well he hasn't used it all period and we mentioned that and that's fine if he's going to let it go that way for the rest of the game because the players will adjust accordingly they know what they can get away with and what they can't but Marcel Dion was just collared and dumped behind the net away from the puck as the Kings were trying to clear the zone. John Tonelli, a rambunctious sort along the boards. He has just had an outstanding last two or three years in games against the Kings. And I think uh, half the games he's been the number one star against the Kings. Last year he had four goals in three games. He has the only two Islander goals here tonight for his club. John Tonelli, and uh, he's the standard by which a lot of clubs measure left wingers today. Now the Kings here is Phil Sykes up to center to Dave Taylor. Taylor fires it into the Islanders zone. Behind the net, Billy Smith, the goaltender, passes off on the left side. Bernie Nichols in to try to pick it up. Can't get it. Morrow with it. Morrow in the corner. Kings have outshot the Islanders 27-16. to 16. The Islanders have been outshot in 10 straight periods. Puck comes up to center ice. Taken by the Kings, Redmond now driven back into the Islander zone. Back to get it, Paul Boudelier. Four minutes to go in the second period. Good game tonight, all tied at two. We hope you're enjoying it on KGIL Radio and on the Prime Ticket Television Network. At center ice, Islanders send it into the Kings zone. Pat Flatley drives it in deep, taken by Darren Elliott. He gives it to Engblom. He gives it up the left side to Sykes, and Phil Sykes clears it out to center. Picked up now back in the Islanders zone. Sent up to the blue line to Pat Flatley. Flatley's pass to the red line tipped away for a moment by the uh, Kings Redmond, but he can't hang on to it. Now it's taken by Ari Hanpa. Hanpa down the left side into the Kings zone. He's uh, checked there by Engblom at the left point. Here's Randy Boyd. His shot deflected by Fox. Picked up in deep by the uh, Kings Bernie Nichols. Nichols bumped behind the net by Roger Kortko, and he falls down on top of the puck. 3-12 to go in the second period. The game is tied 2-2. Two two. Coming up at the fabulous four of Jimmy Connors against Yvonne Lendl. Monday. Faceoff will be to the right of Darren Elliott in the King zone. At LaFontaine, number 16 out for the Islanders. The Islanders' Paul Boudelier. This got knocked down uh, moments ago by Phil Sykes. And uh, Phil, not a big guy, Nick, but uh, he could throw a pretty good check. Same with Bernie Nichols. The only difference uh, in Phil Sykes and a lot of other players, he may check and throw as many checks as a lot of other guys, but Phil, because of his size, goes down a lot. He Mike Bossy to Boyd. He shoots and a save made by Darren Elliott. And as he reached out for the loose puck, we've got Jay Wells upset. 
with uh, Pat LaFontaine, and it looked like Tiger Williams came over and gave LaFontaine a whack. So we're going to get penalties here. I think the Kings were going to get an original penalty as one of the Islanders were dumped right in front of goaltender Darren Elliott. The action off the draw, the Islanders feeding the puck back on the left point, the shot. Elliott came out, made the save, and then Wells and LaFontaine were battling. Tiger Williams came in there, and uh, then we had the punches thrown. Bossy for the Islanders coming in. Jay Wells, Williams, and Galley of the Kings. And referee Dennis Morrell will make his first penalty call or calls here in the second period with 3.03 left. So the penalties will come at 16.57. Tiger Williams anxiously awaiting the calls. Jimmy Fox going in along with Jay Wells of the Kings. I think Wells got the original penalty. And Fox may have picked up one after the whistle. But as of right now, nobody for the Islanders is in the penalty box. Or wait, now LaFontaine goes in. King's talking with referee Dennis Morrell about it out at uh, center ice. Tiger oh, Williams and Doug Smith are there. We have 3.03 to go in the second period. Fox gets two minutes for high sticking. And Jay Wells, two for roughing. Islanders, Pat LaFontaine gets two for roughing. First power play for the New York Islanders tonight. 3.03 left second period. The game is tied at two. The Islander power play struggling. Four of 31. Just four power play goals for the Islanders in seven games. We mentioned earlier tonight, usually their power play, the Kings power play among the league's best. Their percentage is 12.9. The Kings are having all kinds of problems killing penalties. They've allowed at least one power play goal against them in each of their first nine games. A total on the year of 17 by far and away, the most given up in the NHL to date. Dave Taylor has the king goal here in the second period, and now he needs only two goals for Dave Taylor to tie Butch Goring for second on the Kings all-time goal-scoring list. He might be able to do that Thursday night at the Boston Garden. That's where we'll be on radio and TV, the Kings and the Boston Bruins. Ryan Trache, another one of those guys. Nick doesn't look very big, but uh, he plays a real physical game for the Islanders. He can throw some heavy body checks. Face off to the right of Darren Elliott. Kings trying to kill a penalty now. The puck is in the King zone and gets past Thomas Johnson at the blue line back out to center ice. King penalty killers. Sykes and Smith up front. Engblom and Redmond back. 2-2 Two -two tie nearing the end of the second period. Kings have never led in the game. Here's Dennis Potvin giving it to Brian Trotche. Cutting in deep. Centers it to Bossy. And a save by Elliott. Bossy didn't really get a good shot, but he directed it toward the net. And Darren Elliott made the stop right at the goal line and hangs on for the faceoff with 2.42 to go in the second period. Bossy right in the crease, and of course that's all right if the puck is in there. And it was, and he went in to get it, but he got stopped by Darren Elliott. Faceoff to the left of Elliott now. Power play for another minute, 39 seconds, as the penalty clock now working here at the Nassau County Coliseum. He said, uh, Nick uh, told you, the Kings dead last in the NHL in penalty killing, and last year they were uh, one of the best. Now here is Den er, on the right side, Bossy. Bossy going back behind the King net. Feeds it out to Dennis Potvin. He shoots. It's wide off the boards. Rebound to the right point, and off the stick of Thomas Johnson back out to center. 123 left to go in the Islander power play. 2-2 Two -two tied. Here's a pass to Bossy. He's got the quick release. Bossy right side. Shooting stick save. Elliott. Rebound out to Dennis Potvin. Up the middle, Thomas Johnson. Johnson to Dennis Potvin. Potvin to Bossy. Bossy's pass in front, and Trotche couldn't hang on to it. It's cleared by the Kings' Brian Engblom. Back into the Islander zone. Kings change penalty killers now. Hawkinson and Gay come out up front. Same defensive tandem. Redmond and Engblom and the Islanders go offside at the King Blue Line with exactly two minutes to go in the second period. And the game is tied 2-2. Two to two. The Kings have 57 seconds left to go in the penalty to Jim Fox. Matt Quinn looking on as the Kings in the midst of their longest road trip looking to break a five-game losing streak. They've got Boston Thursday, Hartford on Saturday night, and in Philadelphia on Sunday, and then back home to the Forum on Wednesday, November 6th. 
against the Stanley Cup champions the last two years, the Edmonton Oilers. Stefan Pearson with it back at his own blue line for the Islanders. Sends it to Brian Trotche. Trotche trying to hit Bossy out of his reach. Comes right toward Darren Elliott. Elliott trying to clear it. He hit Bossy with it. Bossy pass up the middle. Intercepted by the Kings. Here's Paul Gay to center. Gay looking for some help. He's got Hawkinson with him, but he takes his time. Now gives it a Hawk. Hawkinson down the right side. Going behind the net. Billy Smith tried to knock him down. Hawkinson still with it. Smith was way out of position on kind of a bad play. But the Kings, due to the fact they're killing a penalty, had uh, everybody else hanging back at center ice. Here's Mike Bossy on the right side. Drives it into the King zone. 19, or, uh, 17 seconds up to go in the power play. Brian Trache gives it behind the net. Comes around the right side now to Tonelli. To the right point to Stefan Pearson. Pass in front. Tip wide by Trache. And diving on the puck is the King goaltender, Darren Elliott. Six seconds to go in the penalty to Fox, which is the penalty that has made the King shorthanded. 109 to go in the second period. It's the Islanders two and the Kings two. Nice tip by Trache, moving away from the net, but he tipped it wide to the left goal post. Darren Elliott out of Cornell University. A diabetic that talked to Bobby Clark quite a bit about how a diabetic should go about uh, playing with the rigors of the National Hockey League. Spare goaltender Kelly Rudy looking on. He played against the Kings in the first meeting of the season between the two teams in Los Angeles. Now the Islanders, left point, Randy Boyd, King zone, power play is over, pass in deep, broken up by Rick LaPointe, out of the penalty box comes uh, Jay Wells, and the puck driven down into the Islanders zone, less than a minute to play, pass by Nichols right through the slot, Dion couldn't catch up with it. Now out in front, Dion goes for it, tipped away. They had Fox's penalty on the board, and I thought that was the one that made the King shorthanded, but it was Wells who came out of the penalty box. Hamway flips it into the King zone, and Darren Elliott, Stops it as it came off the boards, and Rick LaPointe wound up in the King net. Talks to uh, Morrell, who made no call, with 40 seconds to go in the second period. Got some Kings fans here tonight. Former uh, King player Pete Stemkowski, now a broadcaster with WGBB in Long Island, was here. George Genoway, high to the Valley Hockey League, and Frank Pollock. Harris Pete is here. Said he doesn't want to say hi to anybody, but he's here enjoying the game. Scott ABR here tonight from Los Angeles. Says hi to his brother Chris, viewing and listening in South Pasadena. And Fred Corsi, the director of operations here at the building. Hi to everybody at the fabulous four. Backhander stopped by Elliott as Pat LaFontaine lost his stick. The Kings come out, 30 seconds to go in the period. Ingblom from center ice drives it into the Islanders zone. Billy Smith picks it up off the boards, drops it down. Now it's taken by Mark Hamway on the right side. His pass up to center, broken up by Wells. Wells tried to get it to Taylor, tipped away by Randy Boyd. 17 seconds left to go in the period. Puck driven back into the Islanders zone now. 2-2 tie, 10 seconds to go in the second period. Puck comes out to center ice. Chase down to the King blue line by Engblom. He backpedals. He sends it up to center ice. McClellan let it go. It would have been a two-line pass. And that's the end of the second period here at the Nassau County Coliseum. The Kings have outshot the Islanders in the game 27 to 18. And the game is tied at 2-2. Two to two. Coming up live downstairs. Tommy, did you play a lot of hockey? Well, I played a lot of uh, uh, amateur hockey, if that's what you mean. You know, minor league hockey, like playground and THL and, and uh, a little bit of OHA hockey. But I wasn't, I wasn't much of a hockey player, Bobby. In 1945, you were sent to Omaha to coach. You have a player there by the name of Howe. Did you immediately think he was going to become the superstar that he became? Oh, uh, there was no doubt that Howe was a, definitely a potential national leaguer. But uh, for me to sit here and say that I was positive that he was going to be a superstar, why I, I, I just couldn't do it at that, at that particular time. But there was no doubt he had the potential. After one year in Omaha, you were sent to Indianapolis to coach, but you really weren't anxious to go. No, the only, only reason was that uh, I enjoyed uh, working in Omaha with uh, the youngsters. Uh, I liked working with the youngsters. And that, that would be the only reason why I didn't want to go to Indianapolis. Following a stint in the service, Tommy Ivan joined the Detroit Red Wings as coach in 1947. Thus began a long and healthy relationship with Jack Adams and with the Norris family. You inherit a good hockey team in Detroit. What did you think was your biggest challenge? Well, my biggest challenge was to get the respect of the players. And uh, I didn't have too much trouble 
because uh, they were great hockey players. They were thoroughbreds. Management can make it very difficult for the coach. Was Jack Adams tough to work for? Yes, he was, but he was fair. And I enjoyed every minute working for him. In fact, I owe him, uh, I owe him everything. Seven years in Detroit, six first place finishes, three Stanley Cups, and you're rewarded by being asked to go to Chicago to coach a last place team. When I was told that I was going as the general manager, why, it was a promotion, and it was a challenge, too. When you arrived in Chicago, Tommy, what was your number one priority? Well, to build a farm system. Uh, we were limited on players. We, we reported to training camp and only had 19 pros. And uh, we had to scud around and uh, get a few amateurs in there that make it a competitive camp. St. Catharines was very instrumental in the rebuilding of the Hawks. We come out of there with a lot of hockey players. There were some there when we took them over. And then, of course, we it was a feeder. You know, it was a, actually a parent club for our B teams that were we that we were developing players and eventually sending them into St. Catharines as the what was the Junior A club. We come out of there with a lot of hockey players. The U.S. college hockey market is an area that you started tapping before many of the others. And at that time, why uh, the co U.S. colleges were bringing in a, oh, an assortment of Canadian talent, naturally, and. Uh, on scholarships, which was wonderful for, for, for the young boys. Got their education at the same time developed playing hockey. And uh, going from our sponsor clubs to the colleges, where well, we eventually uh, had the players develop for us. With players like Hall and Makita from St. Catharines and Billy Red Hay from the NCAA, the building program came to fruition with the Stanley Cup victory in 1961. Three Stanley Cups with the Red Wings, a career full of accomplishments. Then, in 1979, his interest turned to the Olympic program. The United States winning a gold medal in 1980 meant a lot to you, Tommy. I was very fortunate. Uh, Mr. Wirtz made me available to the Olympic Hockey Committee to take part in the uh, Olympic Festival in 1978 and 79. And, uh, but really, uh, the people that deserve a lot of credit for that team were the regional general managers. They'd done a lot of work. And uh, Herb Brooks, of course, and his staff, uh, his selection committee, uh, they were observing the uh, tournament and uh, the festival, which was all oh, they played the round robin series. And their selection committee done a terrific job. And it was a, it was a big honor to me. I, I enjoyed it, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Your greatest thrill? Greatest thrill, I'd say, being elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame. Any disappointments? I've had a lot of disappointments, but uh, I've been very fortunate that, that uh, the game has been so good to me. Tommy Ivan, a clever man, a decent man, a hockey legend. Two great hockey legends talking there. We hope you enjoyed it. Bobby Orr talking with Tommy Ivan. Among the rookies that are leading the straight game, going with the same line combinations, he started the New Jersey game on Saturday night by changing all four forward lines, and they've been effective. 2-2 two -two the score here with the third period, Bob Miller. All right, Nick Kings have it as they move now from left to right, third period. Dion sends it up to center, both teams at full strength. Game tied 2-2. Huck is taken against the boards by Paul Gay, but he got knocked down. McClellan with it. He gave it away. Huck taken by Pat LaFontaine across the King line, trying to get out of the middle, and Gary Galley takes him out of the play. Huck is cleared to center by Jay Wells, but when it's shot back in, the Islanders are offside on the play. 14,855 the attendance here tonight. 14,855. Randy Boyd, defenseman for the New York Islanders, picked up in the waiver draft from the Chicago Blackhawks this October 7th, and they say he has just been stellar on defense. Al Arbor has gone with the same set of defensive pairings for the last five or six games. He usually likes to switch them around, even if the club is successful or not. And Randy Boyd uh, is giving them a lot of muscle on the back line. They needed a guy like that to play physical ever since they lost Gordy Lane, who retired. Now the Kings' Brian Engblom sends it into the Islanders' zone, and Randy Boyd breaks it up there, but he drives it all the way down into the Kings' zone. No icing going to be called here. Back to get it. Brian Engblom, third period just underway. Game tied 2-2. Kings have never led in the game. Here's Paul Gay sending it up to Brian McClellan at center. Brian's got a goal tonight. He comes across the line, loses it there. Islanders may have a two-on-one. Engblom, the only man back. Here's LaFontaine with Hanpa. LaFontaine walked in around the net, and a save by Darren Elliott, and he hangs on. I don't know how he made that save. It looked like LaFontaine was going to come around the net and jam it in, Nick. 
And Darren Elliott somehow kept it out and covers up. Well, a two-on-one break. LaFontaine and Ari Hanpa out of Finland. LaFontaine carried the puck in. The lone defenseman back was Brian Engblom, and LaFontaine just held on to it long enough, and he would have jammed it in had not Engblom's skate, which was pinned against the far post, kept the puck from uh, going over the goal line. So actually, it was Engblom's skate, not Elliott, the goaltender's skate, that prevented the puck from going in. Good play by Engblom. Now the Islanders in the King zone again. Court goes, pass to the blue line, hops over the stick of Stefan Pearson. Puck taken by Dennis Potvin, celebrating his 32nd birthday. He drives it into the King zone. Here's Tiger Williams. He clears it back to center. Potvin intercepts. Third period just underway. 2-2 tie. Good game tonight. Puck comes back down into the Islander zone, and Dennis Potvin back to get it. Potvin passes around behind the net. Islanders, of course, won four consecutive Stanley Cup championships until the Edmonton Oilers ended their reign, and now it's the Oilers with two consecutive Stanley Cups. Puck is in the King zone, wrapped around by Wells, comes out to center ice, taken over there by Paul Boudelier. Boudelier sends it to Kenny Morrow. Morrow. Sends it off the boards, back to the King line, broken up there by Gary Galley. Galley throws it up to Fox on the right wing. Fox to Doug Smith. Smith drives it into the Islander zone, and Billy Smith, the goaltender, sticks it into the corner. 18 minutes to go in the game. Back come the Islanders. Uh, Brian Trotje passing over on the right side. Mike Bossy in deep. Bossy is checked there by Engblom. Puck behind the net, taken by the Kings. And Phil Sykes headmans it up to Dave Taylor. Taylor with a goal tonight. Comes to the red line. Into the Islander zone. Taylor down the left side around Tonelli. Taylor in deep. Taylor to Sykes. He couldn't get a shot. Being tied up by Boudelier. Sykes to Taylor behind the net. Taylor left side. Tied up by Morrow. Taylor still battles with Morrow. Now behind the net. Sykes is pushed by Boudelier. Sykes with it. Left wing side. Sykes drops it off to Taylor. Taylor being being uh, grabbed by Morrow. Taylor against the boards. Now Sykes being checked by Trache. Still a loose puck. And Sykes battles for it. Sykes with it. Left side. Islander zone. Sykes to Nichols. Right side. Nichols in front. Tried to get it to Taylor. He didn't get it. Engblom at the left point holds it in. He drives it in deep. It's taken by Nichols up the middle to Taylor. The goaltender, Smith, had lost his stick, but they hand it back to him. Now Nichols in front to Engblom, and his shot blocked by Kenny Morrow. Puck comes into the corner. J.P. Kelly checks Bossy. Kings hold it in. Redmond shoots wide. Rebound. J.P. Kelly couldn't jam it in. He bumped into the goaltender, Billy Smith. Kings with a pressure on. Nichols left side to Engblom. Engblom in the left circle couldn't get a shot. And the Islanders, Boudelier, will clear at the center, but the Kings had the pressure on. Boy, Taylor and Sykes started that pressure with outstanding work along the boards. Engblom sends it into the Islander zone. Nichols knocked down by Randy Boyd. Puck is cleared out to center. Kings have changed their defensive tandems. Dean Kennedy back. Kennedy's pass to the Islander line, taken away by Randy Boyd. 2-2 tie. 1626 to go. Third period. Islanders send it into the King zone. Darren Elliott slaps it around the boards. Didn't clear it. Puck taken at the left point now by Randy Boyd. He shoots. Saved by Elliott. Rebound comes off and out to center ice. Chased down by Thomas Johnson. He gives it now to Mark Hamway. Hamway to Boyd for the Islanders. Boyd bumped at center ice by Hawkinson. Here's Kennedy ahead across the line and down the right side. McClellan into the corner. Pulled down by Randy Boyd. Puck is loose in the corner and Hawkinson falls down, gets up, gives him McClellan. McClellan's pass left side. LaPointe shoots wide to the right side. Rebound right point. Held in by the Kings. Kennedy with a shot deflected. Picked up by the Islanders and back they come. Hamway trying to get it to LaFontaine. He didn't get it and uh, we're going to get icing if the Kings get to it and they do. Dean Kennedy touches up for the icing call. The game is tied 2-2 two to two, and we'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. California skiers have a secret. Mammoth Mountain. The skiing is fabulous. 28 lifts take you to the finest skiing in the West. And the snow? Imagine skiing from November to June. When you're in Mammoth, stay at the Sierra Nevada Inn. You'll love our friendly alpine atmosphere, the free shuttle bus to the lifts, our newly remodeled rooms, and our central location right in the heart of Mammoth Lakes. So when you think skiing, think Mammoth Mountain and the Sierra Nevada Inn, California's best kept secret. Other games all in the third period. New Jersey over Boston, 3-2. Hartford over Pittsburgh, 4-3. Quebec drubbing Montreal, 6-2. Washington over St. Louis, 5-2. Those games all in the third period. And right here, we're in the third period with a game tied 2-2, 15-37 to go. Face off to the right of Islander goaltender Billy Smith. Dion ready to take the draw. And on the draw, the 
Islanders Dwayne Sutter jumps too quickly and they did not drop the puck now ready to go again and off the draw pot to the blue line taken away galley shooting he scores Gary galley with his fifth of the year from just inside the blue line 58 feet away and for the first time tonight the Kings have the lead at three to two well, right off the draw the puck came back on the right point and Gary galley let the shot go the draw fought for the Islanders actually tried to clear it out galley took the shot and I think it changed directions as one of the Islanders may have deflected it. Galley gets the goal, his fifth at 428, 3-2 Kings. Unassisted goal, now Gay shooting from the right side, saved by Billy Smith. He pokes it ahead to Makala. Makala gets it over on the right side to Kortko. Kortko taken over the boards into the King bench by Galley. Not quite all the way, but it looked like he was going to go head first into the King bench, and the whistle blew. Well, Gary Gelly getting involved along the boards after scoring his fifth goal. He leads the club in goals with five. Just took second-year center Roger Kortko, and because there was no glass, Kortko almost went head over heels. Gary Gelly, number three, took the shot. An Islander was about 10 feet in front of Gary Gelly as he let the shot go, and I'm quite sure he got a piece of it but the Islanders had possession after the Kings fought for it off the draw, and they just gave it away to Galley on the point. Unassisted goal. His fifth of the year, and the Kings with it in their own zone now with a lead for the first time in the game, and Bernie Nichols slaps it off the glass. It comes all the way down into the Islanders' zone. Back to get it is Morrow, and the net gets knocked off the magnets. Dave Taylor looking for position in front of goaltender Billy Smith, and he and Boudelier and Morrow glare at each other. Boudelier looking at Dennis Morrell. No penalties. Very few penalties have been called. Boudelier riding Dave Taylor. Boudelier, number four of the Islanders. Taylor, number 18 of the Kings. And Boudelier just rode him right into goaltender Billy Smith. And Billy Smith just does not like opponents in his goal crease. He'll let you know that he doesn't like it. He's given a couple of uh, Kings shoves after they've wound up in the crease tonight. Gary Galley taking the Kings goal scoring lead with that goal at five and the puck comes down on the uh, boards in the Islander zone and cleared up to center taken by Redmond. Redmond's pass now it goes from Sykes to Nichols he shoots just wide to the right side rebound Nichols walking in over left side to Sykes and he shot it wide and back come the Islanders up to center ice 3-2 Kings lead pass to Tonelli tipped away by Redmond and driven back down into the Islander zone Puck is taken by Morrow. Here's Kenny Morrow wheeling out of his own zone. Morrow to the King line. Right side. Bossy shoots wide. Rebound. Hit the side of the net as Morrow tried to uh, get a shot, but he was in too deep on the right side. Here's Trache. King zone. Look out. Left point. Randy Boyd takes it off the boards. His shot blocked and cleared out to center by Craig Redmond. Back to get a John Tonelli. Two goals in the game tonight. Tonelli's pass bounces into the King zone. Tiger Williams back to get it. Williams, Smith, and Fox up front for the Kings right now. Kings in a line change. Puck taken by Randy Boyd, and Boyd sends it back behind the King net. 13.49 to go in the game. Kings ahead, 3-2. Pass over in front of the King bench. Redmond wanted to come off, but had to play the puck. Now it's taken at center ice by Doug Smith. Hops away from him. Taken now by Ari Hanpa. He's checked at center by Fox. Kings dig it out. Engblom gives it to Williams. Now to Doug Smith. Right side. His shot deflected into the corner by Randy Boyd and then poked away by the goaltender, Billy Smith. Islanders bring it up to center. Pass on the right side. Here's Mark Hamway. He shoots and a save in the glove of Darren Elliott. And he hangs on. The Kings lead it 3-2 in the third period. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. 3-2 Kings, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Kings Hockey coming your way from the Nassau Coliseum on the prime ticket television network, the hottest ticket in town. From the right point, a drive by the Islanders. Stephon Pearson is wide, held in by Dennis Potvan. Now it comes over to the Kings' Brian McClellan. He clears it ahead to Paul Gay. Here's Gay with Dion. Back to Dion, down the middle. Dion, left side. Dion going behind the net. Tried to roll it out in front. It's taken away by Dennis Potvan. 
13 minutes to go in the game. Kings ahead 3-2. Islanders clear it to the King line. Taken now by Kennedy. Up ahead to Dion. Dion tried to pass on the right side. Broken up by Roger Kortko. Back comes Miko Makala. Makala gives it to Kortko for the Islanders. Kortko across the line. Goes to the right side. His drop pass broken up. Held in by Dennis Potvin, though. Potvin to the right point. Potvin shoots. Deflected into the left wing corner. King zone. Puck dug out along the boards by Kortko. He gives it to Miko Makala out of Finland. Makala walking in. It deflects off a body and wide of the net to the right side. And McClellan ices the puck, and we've got a penalty against the Kings. Penalty against the Kings back in front of the King net. Holding is the call. And the Islanders are going to go on the power play with a chance to tie it up as Rick LaPointe heads over to the penalty box. Two minutes for holding. Well, I think that's an inconsistent call from Dennis Morrell. I hate to be overly critical of the officials, but he's let just about everything go, and that certainly was not a scoring chance for the New York Islanders. Good play in front of Darren Elliott. The Kings were physical. No way that Makala could get at the puck, and he calls a holding penalty. He actually tripped over the stick of defenseman Rick LaPointe, and LaPointe shakes his head in the penalty box. First penalty of the period, and the Islanders... Go on the power play for just the second time tonight. So now both clubs have had two-man advantages. The penalty at 7.38. Among those uh, here from California, Fred Corsi, as we said, director of operations here at the building. Hi to his dad, Fred Sr., who is viewing and listening out in Southern California. And we hope all of you are enjoying the game tonight. Good game. 3-2 Kings. 12.22 to go in the third period. And off the draw, Trotche chases it toward the net but the King goaltender, Darren Elliott, covers it up. Face off to Elliott's left once again in the King zone. King penalty killers, Smith and Sykes up front, Redmond and Engblom back on defense. Trache out with Tonelli and Bossy, the big line up front. The puck comes to the blue line, held in by Boudelier to the right side of Thomas Johnson, walking in, his pass in front, tipped wide by Bossy. Rebound, Bossy to Janssen, to Boudelier, left point. Boudelier's pass deflected up into the crowd, and Bossy just missed Nick putting it in that left-hand side. Well, Bossy has missed a couple of passes as he's redirected them right in front of Darren Elliott tonight. He came into the third period with no shots on goal to his credit, but he has had a couple of scoring opportunities on deflections, just like the one he had right there. Doug Smith just could not tie up Bossy and prevent him from getting his stick away from that puck and eventually it was deflected out of play. Mike Bossy just hasn't been open to get that quick shot away, a quick trigger, excellent accuracy, Mike Bossy. 144 to go on the King penalty to Rick LaPointe. Islanders trying to tie it up on the power play. Englom can't clear it. Potvin holds it in to Thomas Johnson. At the left side to Potvin to Johnson. is shot wide. Rebound taken off the boards by Trache. Trache back to the left point and out the center ice as it got by Dennis Potvin back into the Islanders zone. King's changing on the fly on the penalty killing unit now. Smith and Sykes back out. Redmond and Englom still out on defense. Here come the Islanders. Bossy drops it to uh, Thomas Janssen. Janssen down the right side. Tonelli's in front of the net. Back at the right point to Trache. His pass. He got it back again as it tipped away. Now he shoots. Saved by Elliott. Rebound. Picked up by Phil Sykes as the puck got behind Elliott. Sykes can't clear it. Potvin holds it in. Over to Thomas Janssen. One minute to go on the power play. Janssen did Potvin. He tipped it wide. Potvin down the left wing corner. Potvin still holds it in. Islanders trying to tie it up. Engblom takes it away. Can he clear it? No. At the right point, Thomas Johnson holds it in. Now into Mike Bossy. Bossy to Trache. Tipped away in the slot by Doug Smith. Trache again. Up the middle to Thomas Johnson. Back over the right side to Trache. Trache, 40 seconds to go on the power play. To Thomas Johnson. Johnson over to Trache. And he shot it wide to the left side. Held in again by Hot Van de Trache to Bossy. Bossy on the right circle. To the blue line. To Thomas Johnson. To the left point. To Hot Van. Hot Van shoots. Deflected up into the crowd by Phil Sykes with 25 seconds to go in the King penalty. Well, a couple of times, Podvan has snuck in from left point to try and take a pass. They've missed a couple of deflections in front. We mentioned earlier, Dennis Podvan celebrating birthday number 32 tonight. Craig Redmond, Bob, in that last flurry was without his stick for about 15 seconds. He finally picked it up and just got out to the point along with Sykes to help deflect that puck out of play and get a whistle. And moments before that, Phil Sykes grabbing that loose puck as the corner of the king net was open. And now what happened there? Did uh, Nichols uh, or Wells knock down Miko Nichols. Makala? 
Bernie Nichols just took the feet out from Macula. Right, face off to the right of Darren Elliott. Islanders with 25 seconds to go on the power play. Kings ahead 3-2. Here is Hanpa to the left point to Boudelier. Back over to Hanpa, left wing side. Back to Boudelier at the blue line. Boudelier shoots, save Elliott, and he covers up. Oh, now Nichols pushes Macula from behind again. Now Pat LaFontaine trying to get in there. Well, LaFontaine was being bounced in front by Jay Wells, and Wells and LaFontaine have a few words, along with Gary Galley. Galley, number three of the Kings, LaFontaine of the Islanders, and away from those two, Nichols and McKella were having their own little battle. Boudelier letting the shot go from the top of the slot through a maze of legs, and it hit a leg in front, Jay Wells' leg, and deflected right to Darren Elliott, who pounced on it to stop play. The Kings are in front, three to two. Taylor and Galley giving the Kings a tie in the second period and the lead here in the third period. Kings looking for their first road win in four starts. The Islanders have yet to lose at home in three previous games. Two wins and a tie. Face off to the left of Darren Elliott, 3-2 Kings. Crowd cheering as they send Dwayne Sutter out, a real battler. Islanders win the draw. Morrow to Boyd, left point. He shoots, save, rebound, whistle. And now we've got Wells and LaFontaine. And what do we got? Galley dumped Sutter. Sutter. Galley picked up Dwayne Sutter and dumped him right flat on his back. And that'll silence the crowd in New York. They're all cheering when Sutter came out, thinking he was going to manhandle the Kings. And he just got a body slam from Gary Galley. Well, the Islanders putting the pressure on. They've got the power play. Sutter still jawing with Gary Galley, and they're both visibly upset with each other. Dwayne Sutter going to the box along with Gary Galley. The penalties at 9.30 here in the third period, but tremendous physical play in front of Darren Elliott as this power play winds down to the right of your screen on our simulcast. Galley pushing Sutter out of the way. Then at the whistle, they both got the gloves off and the sticks off. Sutter tried to pound Galley on the top of the helmet, and Galley, in wrestling style, picked Sutter up, actually picked him up off the ice and body slammed him to the surface. Gonna see him on Saturday afternoon on TV pretty soon. Rowdy Roddy Piper or Hulk Hogan. Couldn't have done it any better than Gary Galley. The crowd cheering because Sutter came out and Sutter got promptly slammed to the ice and now the fans are getting all over Galley and Galley's hollering at Sutter. Galley still standing up in the penalty box hollering at Dwayne Sutter. 10.30 to go in the game. 3-2 Kings lead. Goals by McClellan, Taylor, and Gary Galley. Face off to the left of goaltender Darren Elliott. Eight seconds to go in the Islander power play. And off the draw, Dion wins the draw from LaFontaine, but he got held up and couldn't clear it out. Now it's still in the King zone. Nichols couldn't clear it. Here on the left side, LaFontaine. His pass in front broken up by Englob. Kings are back at full strength, and they clear it out to center ice. Randy Boyd for the Islanders. Over to Ari Hanpa. Down the right side. He gets around Nichols. Hanpa. Pass upside, and a shot by McElhone, or by Hamway, and he fanned on it. He had time, Nick, on the left side, but he fanned on his shot, and it was covered up by Darren Elliott. This is really the first time in the game the Islanders have had sustained pressure, sustained momentum inside the Kings' blue line. And the reason the momentum started was because they had a power play. LaPointe's penalty has expired. Sutter and Galley both got roughing penalties at 9.30. The two coaches, Pat Quinn, Al Arbor of the New York Islanders, looking on intently. An excellent hockey game for both clubs. Hard physical play and good scoring opportunities. In the King zone, Potvan at the left point. Gives it to Kortko, left wing side. Kortko behind the net, around in front. Tipped away by Dion. King still can't clear it, though. Islanders hold it in against the boards. It's taken away by Redmond. Redmond slaps it around to McClellan, and he tips it out the center to Dion. Here's Dion to the red line. King's ahead 3-2. Dion to McClellan. McClellan across the line, down the right side, in the Islanders' zone. McClellan in deep behind the net. McClellan wraps it around in front, and the goaltender falls on it, and Stefan Pearson pushing at Dion, and McClellan comes in to push at Stefan Pearson. Well, earlier in the game, 
Pearson and Dion really got involved in a scrap. Dion has been involved in a scrap along the boards with Tonelli as well. Billy Smith taking no chance. You'll see both goaltenders try and pounce on that puck whenever they get the opportunity and stop play. But McClellan, using his size and strength, carried the puck in the zone from the blue line in, centered in front, but Dion was pushed to the side by Pearson, and then Big Mac came in to make sure that they were not going to take any more liberties with Marcel Dion. Nick, this is where, when you're on the road, you've got to stand up and be counted because everybody here, of course, the crowd backing the Islanders, and we're getting into the physical game, and the Kings standing up and leading in the game, 3-2, to two, with 9.39 left to go. Red Hot Quebec Nordiques, Bob, keep rolling along. They win at home tonight, 6-4 to over provincial rivals, the Montreal Canadiens. 8-1-1 one one for the Nordiques. Off the draw in the Islander zone. The loose puck, where is it? In the circle, Stefan Pearson with it. Pearson for the Islanders as they move out of their own zone. Here's Dennis Potvin. He sends it up the center, and it's driven into the King zone by Trotche. Taken off the boards by Elliott. Kings with it. It's picked up by Dean Kennedy. Now cleared by Tiger Williams to the blue line, but not out. An Islander gets tripped. No penalty called. It was uh, the Islanders' Miko Makala that got tripped, but no penalty. The fans upset over that, and Doug Smith drives it into the Islanders' zone. Islanders with it. Here's Dennis Potvin, chased by Doug Smith. Passes around on the right side. Flatly ahead to Kortko. Kortko passing on the left side, out of the reach of Makala. Here's Makala with Dean Kennedy in the king zone. Puck is picked up by Fox. Fox around the right side to Doug Smith. Smith's pass over to Tiger Williams on the left side. Williams at the red line had it tipped away. Kortko with it for the Islanders. 8.45 to go in the game. 3-2 Kings. Bob Miller with Nick Nixon. Hope you're enjoying it tonight. Kings take it away at center ice, and Dean Kennedy drives it into the Islander zone. It comes around left side. Mike Bossy out of the ice now. Look out for him. He gives it over to Randy Boyd. Here's Boyd with eight and a half minutes to go in the game. Boyd ahead to Trotche. He's double teamed and knocked down at the blue line by Englom and Redmond. Puck comes around to the left side of Tiger Williams. Williams clears it up to center out of the reach of Taylor. Taken away by the Islanders. Randy Boyd at his own blue line. Sends it to Thomas Johnson. 8.15 to go in the game. Kings ahead 3-2. Johnson's pass into the King zone. Here is Redmond behind the King net. Checked by Tonelli. Tonelli tips it away. Taken by Engblom. He gives it to Taylor on the right side. Taylor tried to poke it around Randy Boyd. Couldn't do it. Boyd held it in. Now Taylor with it again. Out the center ice to Phil Sykes. Sykes checked at center ice by Thomas Johnson. Gets the puck into the Islander zone, and Randy Boyd back to cover up for New York. Boyd sends it around to Trache. Trache to center. Trache to Janssen. Janssen over on the right side of Tonelli, looking for the hat trick. Tonelli trying to get around Englund. Tonelli behind the net, stops there. Pass up the middle, taken away by Sykes, but he couldn't clear it. Held in by Boudelier to Tonelli, to Bossy. Bossy's pass, broken up by Taylor. Taylor for the Kings, back to center right, three on three. He gives it on the left side to Englund. Across the Islander line, Englund, his pass to Sykes down the middle. He's taken out of the play. Puck is back out to center ice. Islanders pass ahead, and Hamway came across the line. Hamway to Tonelli, back to Hamway, shooting wide to the right side. Rebound held in by LaFontaine to Tonelli, to the right point now. Tomorrow, he shoots, tip, save on the tip, saved by Elliott. Rebound, Hamway to LaFontaine, and Elliott covers it up on the side of the net. Three, two, Kings, and we'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. Working hard to try and tie it up. Darren Elliott, Bob, has made some tough saves through traffic. A lot of his saves have come from 45, 50 feet out in a lot of traffic. Kings win the draw and clear it out to the Islander zone as Paul Gay cleared it. Now it is shot back into the King zone and chased down by Jay Wells, and he got to it for the icing call as he beat LaFontaine to it. And Pat LaFontaine of the Islanders is upset over the call, but it's icing against New York and the face-off back in the Islanders' zone. This Kings ahead, 3-2, 6.52 left to go in this game. LaFontaine claiming he got to it first. This game is coming to you from the Nassau Tire in America. See your Michelin dealer for the tire that just might outlive your car. Now off the faceoff, the puck is whistled dead, and look out, we got Paul Gay and Ari Hanpa, the player out of Finland for the Islanders, pushing at each other. Hanpa spells his name H-A-A-N-P-A-A. -A -A. First name Ari, A-R-I. Ari Hanpa, along with Miko Makala, two Finnish products to go along with their Swedes on defense, Janssen and Parasong. 6.49, the time left. 
3-2 Kings. Islanders led 1-0. Kings tied it. Islanders took a 2-1 lead after one. Kings got the only goal to tie it in the second. Kings have the only goal here in the third period. Galley's fifth unassisted. Face off to the left of Billy Smith. Dion ready on the draw. 6.49 left in the game and the Kings clinging to a one goal lead and at times putting the pressure on the Islanders. However, uh, down at the other end, a flurry in front of Darren Elliott a few minutes ago and Elliott able to keep the puck out of the net. Now Dion ready on the draw. Galley's at the right point. Wells back on defense also and the loose puck is cleared out to center by LaFontaine but he broke his stick. He has to go to the bench to get another one. Kings with it and a two line pass called against the Kings as the pass came from inside the King blue line. It was touched on the other side of the center red line. Out of town scores a couple of finals. Quebec over Montreal, 6-4. Washington has defeated St. Louis, 6-3. Still in the third, Boston and New Jersey now tied at four. And Hartford, a one-goal lead, 4-3, over the Pittsburgh Penguins. Another King fan up here in his King's jacket. Wayne Pakula says hi to all of his buddies out in Southern California. 6.40 to go in the game, and it is the Kings three, the Islanders two, and off the draw with LaFontaine, Dion brings it to center, tipped away, and it's taken by Hanpa for the Islanders. He tried to give it to Mark Hamway, tipped away from him, and Paul Gay flips it into the Islanders' zone. Hamway back to get it, sends it toward the King line, broken up by Gary Galley. Galley gives it to McClellan at center ice. Here's Mack at the red line. He fires it into the Islanders' zone, and Billy Smith didn't cut it off behind the net. It comes around to Hamway. Hamway is checked there. The puck dug out by Kenny Morrow. He sends it up to center and chased down. Wells got in the way of LaFontaine, and I was looking for perhaps an interference call, but none made. Here's Dion to McClellan, left wing. He shoots and a pad save. Rebound, pass over to Dion, right side. Dion, he tried to send it back in for the net. Paul Gay with it. Gay slaps it behind the net over to McClellan. Islander zone. McClellan wraps it around the boards, right wing point. Taken by Paul Gay. Gay into Dion, right wing corner, Islander zone. Dion checked by Stefan Pearson. Pearson digs it out. He gives it to Mark Hamway. 5.40 to go in the game. Kings ahead of the Islanders, 3-2. Now it's center ice. Kings with it. Rick LaPointe sends it into the Islanders zone. Kings change on the fly. Tiger Williams charges out. Also for the Kings, Fox and Smith come onto the ice. Islanders in their own zone. Here is Dennis Potvin. Potvin plays it up on the left side. Picked up now by Dwayne Sutter. Sutter passing now to Kortko. He sends it into the right wing corner. King zone taken away by Tiger Williams. He gives it at the King blue line to Jim Fox. Here's Fox at the red line. Here's Fox shooting it into the Islanders zone. Billy Smith, the goaltender for New York, stick handles with it. Now flips it left point. It bounces over the stick of Rick LaPointe out the center ice. He gives it to Dean Kennedy. Kennedy to Fox. Fox to the right side, rolls it into the Islanders zone. Smith drags it behind the net for Stefan Pearson. Pearson almost gave it away. Now up the middle, Tiger Williams, his shot blocked. He gets it again, he shoots. Stick save by Smith. 4.51 to go in the game. Kings ahead, 3-2. Jim Fox holds it in the Islanders zone. It's taken behind the net by Randy Boyd. Boyd sends it around the right side, and it's not cleared by Stefan Pearson. Held in by Fox, taken by uh, Johnson. Now Pearson sends it up to center ice, intercepted by Redmond. Redmond gives it back to Bernie Nichols, back in the King zone. Nichols pass up on the right wing, out of the reach of Taylor. Comes into the Islander zone. We're going to get icing against the Kings as Trache touches it. 4.24 to go in the game. 3-2 Kings, and we'll be right back. This is the Los Angeles Kings Hockey Network. To go in the game, and the face-off to the left of Darren Elliott. Brian Trache against Bernie Nichols on the face-off. And Nichols wins the draw. Into Brian Engblom. Engblom checked in the corner. Trache took it away. His pass up the middle to the blue line. Dennis Potvin holds it in, but his pass taken away by the Kings. They got a three on two. Here's Sykes to Nichols. Right wing, Islander zone. Nichols tried to get it to Sykes. Tipped away, but held in by Redmond. Gives it behind the net to Sykes. Islander zone. Sykes bumped there. His pass taken away by Dennis Potvin. He wraps it around the boards and gets it up on the left wing to John Tonelli. Tonelli knocked down. Redmond holds it out at center. Trache has to get back on side. 3.54 to go in the game, 3-2 Kings. Here's Tonelli, left wing. He is bumped in the Kings zone. The puck taken by Redmond. Redmond bumped the puck behind the net. Engblom and Trache go for it. And it is dug out by Bossy. Bossy, left side, taken away by Taylor. Took it right off Bossy's stick. Taylor up the center on the right side and shoots it into the Islander zone. 
three and a half minutes ago. Nichols shooting from the right side, deflected by Dennis Potvin. Picked up by the Islanders again. Here's Trache at center. He got around Paul Gay. Trache trying to get around Wells now. Can't do it. Bernie Nichols back to get it. Nichols clears it up to center. Hit the linesman skate. Here's Tonelli with it. Looking for his third goal tonight. Tonelli drops it to Boyd. Boyd at the left point. King zone. Boyd for the Islanders. His pass. He goes forward. He gets knocked down. He gets it to Bossy. Bossy's pass. Tipped away by Wells. Wells in the King zone. Gets it up at center ice to Dion. Three on two again. Dion to the blue line. Dion to McClellan. Left side. Islander zone. McClellan's pass. In deep. And we have a whistle. And I think penalties coming up here. Paul Gay is wrapped up in front of the net by Randy Boyd. Going to get both of them? I think so. I think they're going to get both Paul Gay and the Islander defenseman. Well, we'd like to remind you that Stroh's boxing will be coming up at the fabulous forum. Actually, they come from behind. Six to four, the final. Hartford still with that one goal lead over Pittsburgh in the third period. Four three in Quebec and Washington winners tonight. Penalties. Each of them get high sticking. Paul Gay, Gay and Boyd, Randy Boyd. Right. <laughs> we'll do a duet here for the rest of the One game. And two. Galley at the right point with a shot. Stick saved by Billy Smith. Kings ahead 3 2, 248 to go in the game. Huck comes into the King zone. Darren Elliott looking for his first win of the year. Stops it. Galley clears it to center. Sends it to the Islander line. Here's Morrow with it. Morrow drives it off the boards up to center ice to Mark Hamway. Hamway's pass taken by Ari Hanpa down the left side. Hanpa trying to fight off Hawkinson. Hanpa pulled down by Hawkinson. Oh, no penalty called. And McClellan clears it up to center ice and down into the Islander zone. And this is going to be icing against the Kings. Well, that comes close there, Nick. And if, you know, you got to say that he reached out and grabbed him and pulled him down, I'd call it that way if the Islanders did it to the Kings. And I just don't agree that you don't blow your whistle in the last couple of minutes of the game. Well, he hasn't called uh, a lot tonight, but Hawkinson clearly, in trying to chase Hanpa behind the net, just reached out and with his left arm kind of stiff-armed him to the ice. Make your plans. Kings come home for five games. Edmonton, Montreal, Detroit, Pittsburgh, and the New Jersey Devils on the next homestand. Tickets available. Forum box office open every day at 10 a.m. and all Ticketmaster outlets. Next home game, Wednesday, November 6th. Wayne Gretzky and the Edmonton Oilers. Face off to the left of Darren Elliott. 2.18 to go in the game. 3-2 Kings. Doug Smith on the face off. Loose puck in the face off circle. A shot wide to the right side. And it is picked up by the Kings. Not clear. Dennis Potvin holds it in. Rebound in front. Saved by Darren Elliott on the shot by the rookie, Scott Hausen. He walked right in down the left side and got the loose puck. And Scott Hausen, 25-year-old rookie, signed as a free agent, had a chance to tie it up and didn't, and slammed his stick into the board. Well, he may have gotten some help. Elliott may have gotten some help from defenseman Rick LaPointe, who may have slowed down that shot by getting the blade of his stick in front of it. But Elliott making some tough saves. The Islanders have not had a lot of just clear shots from the slot tonight, which is a good sign for the Kings defensively, but some of the shots they've taken, Elliott has really had to do a job just to get a look at them. Face off to the right of Darren Elliott. And Dion comes in to talk with Doug Smith. Dion looks over to Pat Quinn, says, should I take the face off? Quinn says yes. Dion ready on the draw against Scott Housen, the rookie, and off the faceoff, Dion wins the draw, comes to Rick LaPointe, wraps it around the board, Stephon Pearson holds it into the right point. Now down the right side, Dwayne Sutter, bump there, shot saved by Darren Elliott on the shot by Housen again from the right side. So the rookie, Housen, getting a couple of opportunities to tie it up, and he can't do it. As the save is made, Sutter got bumped, but he got it to Housen. And he drove a shot at Darren Elliott, and Elliott made the save for the Kings. So the faceoff moves over to his left side now with a minute 55 to go in the game and off the draw. The Kings with it, two on two to center. Down the right side, Doug Smith. Tiger Williams down the left. Smith drives it behind the Islander net. Billy Smith cuts it off there for Stephon Pearson. 1.45 to go in the game. Kings intercept. Here's Smith. His shot is deflected into the right wing corner. Picked up by Miko Makala. 
Kings trying to break a five-game losing streak. They're a minute 35 away from doing that. Here is uh, Dwayne Sutter at the Islander line. He gives it to Stefan Pearson. Back to Dwayne Sutter. Sutter comes to the red line. Sutter flips it up into the King zone. It's caught by Darren Elliott. Darren drops it down. And in the corner, the puck slides loose in the King zone. Tiger Williams in to get it. Kings trying to clear it. Williams did not clear it. Held in by Thomas Johnson. Now taken away by the Kings. Pass on the right side. Goes to Fox across the line. His shot deflected up into the crowd with a minute nine to go in the game. And the Kings leading three to two here tonight in front of 14,855. Hal Arbor and former King Brian Kilray, the assistant coach back behind the Islander bench. Three two Kings. Thursday night will be in Boston on prime. Kings ahead three two with a minute nine to go. Nick has gone downstairs. He'll be interviewing a player of the game on the post-game show. Nichols ready on the draw with Sykes and Taylor. Nichols wins the draw, comes to center. Redmond gives it over to Engblom. Engblom drives it in, back behind the net. One minute to go in the game. One minute to go in the game. Kings ahead, three to two. Pass up the center ice. Engblom breaks it up. Engblom's pass broken up by Thomas Johnson. The goaltender heading for the bench. Puck is taken by the Kings. Bernie Nichols couldn't hang on to it. The net is empty. With 48 seconds to go in the game, the Islanders pull their goalie. Their net is wide open. The Kings trying to get an empty netter to ice the victory. Here at the blue line is Sykes. Sykes holds it in the Islanders zone. It's taken by Dennis Potvin. Potvin wraps it around the boards. 30 seconds to go in the game. Kings ahead 3-2. Tonelli's pass to Bossy. Bossy sends it into the Kings zone. Englund back to get it. Gets it to Bernie Nichols. Nichols clears it to the blue line and out the center ice. 20 seconds to go in the game. Puck slides wide of the net. We're going to get an icing call if the Kings don't get to it. And it is touched by the Islanders. Dave Taylor upset over that and so is Sykes. And Kevin Collins, the linesman, hollering, I was right there. Phil, you were behind the play. Kings did not get across center ice when they shot at the empty net. So the icing is called. Get across center ice, of course, and you miss the net. No icing. But now, with 15 seconds to go in the game, the faceoff back into the King zone. Well, it sure looked to me like Taylor got his skates on it, but I wasn't as close as Kevin Collins, the linesman, either. Timeout called now with 15 seconds to go. The Islanders got Billy Smith out of the net. With four. They win the draw. Here is Engblom. 12 seconds to go in the game. He sends it in. The net is still open. Eight seconds. Islanders coming back for one more rush. Look out. Here's Tonelli shooting wide. Rebound off the boards. Two seconds to go. A shot saved by Elliott. And the game is over. And so is the Kings' five-game losing streak. Brian Trotche got a shot right at the buzzer. And the save was made by Darren Elliott. And he preserves the victory, his first of the year. The Kings win it 3-2. to two. They outshot the Islanders 33-25. to 25. And the Kings have ended their five-game losing streak as they beat the Islanders here tonight. And a dejected coach walks off the New York Islanders. And the shots on goal in the game, Kings 33 Islanders 25, Al Arbor not happy over that as he heads for the dressing room. Coming up live on our broadcast, we'll have Nick talking down in the dressing room area. It'll mark the, the first time.